Hello all, welcome to another episode of uh, Picnic Plays D&D. This time I'm actually recording it the right way, yeah, sure we have sound and video this time. And uh, today we're playing a, uh, a uh, haunted story. Ooh. Our uh, characters for today are already level 4, to give them a fighting chance. And uh, I'll let them introduce themselves, starting on my left. Yeah, I made a character called Dratas, which is a uh, dragon speech for Draconic, because uh, I learned uh, the, the language at a very young age. Uh, so uh, I got that name, I earned that name, and uh, I'm a ranger, level 4. I have the background of an outlander, and I specialize in uh, survival, uh, living of nature. Uh, and you're a lizard folk. Yeah, lizard folk, yes. Yes. Well, I am a Bromdeer Bronblot. And I'm a an, uh, dwarf, a uh, barbarian uh, dwarf. And uh, well, I was small. I was, uh, I was always into fighting instead of the, the rest of my family. It was more like a neat family, a more kind of noble family. So when at, uh, well, well, for dwarfs a young age, I was kicked out of, uh, out of my house for almost beating my brother to death in a... Yeah, well, I needed some anger management, and then I went adventuring at, as a mercenary, and uh, maybe searching for my real path because I wasn't fitting in there. Maybe something was wrong. The killing know. your brother wasn't a clue. No, killing your brother <laughs> wasn't a clue. He's still alive. He's still alive. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. He's still alive. Oh. So, the yes. key part of that story was almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Almost. <laughs> Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be here anymore. So, <laughs> yes. I am also playing a mountain dwarf, also with some family issues involving <laughs> an accident with my brother. Oh. Uh, yeah, so uh, also I was exiled with a little accident over there. My name is Baldur, and I'm playing a light cleric. Not a life cleric, no healings done here, but a lot of fire. I'm, I'm envisioning that you are actually the brothers. Maybe, maybe. And the last one? Uh, yeah, so I'm a human called uh, Fred. Used to be a lumberjack, but uh, one day what I was, when I was uh, cutting wood, a dragon flew over and I flipped him <laughs> off. And the dragon saw it and burned down the forest that I lived in. So now that there's no more... Uh, trees to chop down i just started wandering around i see that's a backstory <laughs> and a cool name <laughs> fred 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 so all fred. right so you've been uh, adventuring together for a while now and uh, at the moment you're also on your way to an adventure you uh, you're on your way to perform a quest obviously and you're walking through a very dense forest and it's uh, around dawn, so the sun is just rising. And as you are walking through the forest, you suddenly uh, hear a bell toll once. Uh, it's pretty far in the distance. And it seems to be coming from the direction you're walking towards. And begin. So I think that's one o'clock? Uh, I, I, I hope yeah, so. Maybe. Probably a village nearby, at least we can't see anything, but otherwise there shouldn't be a bell here, right? I don't think much of it, because I'm not the smartest man. <laughs> Welcome to the party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also not smart, but I think the bell is smarter. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you keep walking uh, yeah. along the path? Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going. All right. Uh, well, we have a lumberjack. We can also go through the forest if we want. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, after several minutes of walking, you uh, start hearing um, voices in the distance. You can't hear out what they're saying. But we they are distinctly... Sorry? Can we hear what language they're speaking? They're speaking common. Okay. No, wait, actually, if you can't hear what they're saying, you don't know what they're saying. <laughs> as soon as you're close enough to hear what they're saying, you're speaking common. But right now, you have no idea. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Future knowledge. I want to make a battle language of it. I'm thinking common. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm thinking orcish. Okay. Uh, I have gold pieces. 
Five gold pieces. Five gold pieces. Five gold pieces. Five gold pieces. <laughs> Let's go closer to see what kind of language that is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into that. <laughs> we have gold yet? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, you've been adventuring for a while. Just don't go crazy, but you can write something down. Right. Two thousand gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty or something. I, I, mean, I spent most of my money on the uh, boot. The inflation <laughs> in this world is horrible. So this time's ten. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> And at least enough to actually make the bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, you keep walking, and uh, at some point you cross a bend, and in front of you, out of the blue, uh, there's a very large manor. Uh, it's three stories high. It's crumbling. It's been there for a while. It's uh, it's, it's broken up. And you can see a broken door in the front. And it is surrounded by, uh, you can see that through the entrance, because there's a gate, and above the gate there is a bell hanging uh, with a clock above it, and the clock says one o'clock, funnily enough. And the walls are about 12 feet high, past one. No. <laughs> <laughs> and they, uh, now that the clock is on one o'clock, and the walls uh, go all around the manor, and on the sides of those walls, the, the, the thick forest is just, it's, it's grown into the wall almost. Uh, and as you move towards the gate, still a couple of meters uh, from it, you suddenly hear, uh, hear the, the, the scream of a woman uh, as you can see her jumping out of the top floor uh, to the ground, obviously. So she's tumbling down, screaming. That's not good. Yeah, and awesome. then, because uh, you could hear more distinct voices, still have no idea what they were saying. But as soon as the woman falls off, uh, it becomes eerily quiet. And you can see a path uh, moving towards the house uh, to the front door. And the path is also moving around the house to the back side of the house. Well, does she survive the fall? You're outside the gates at the moment. Just yeah. the gate. So oh, it, is it like a metal gate or something you can look through? Uh, it's a metal gate, but it is open. So. Oh, okay. okay. So. Well, I think uh, I I would like to uh, stealthily approach the gate and peek my head around one of the the posts, the city courtyard inside, see if I can see anyone more than the woman that there. Well, you can make a stealth check. To see go. how stealthy. We didn't have any time. No. Oh, uh, this yes, this is the time. Luckily, we have so more than enough dice around this thing. Uh, 14, you add your stealth modifier. Yeah, but that's your dex. Dex, so that's plus, plus three. three. That's so it. So it makes 17, right? Yeah. So you uh, walk slowly towards the gates. And as you are nearing the gate and you're looking beside it towards the, the manor itself you don't see anyone you can't hear anyone either it seems to be abandoned uh, the house itself is it, it's crumbling and in disrepair uh, it's been uh, overgrown with plants and trees and you can see that the front door has been kicked in and some windows are broken and it looks to have been abandoned for a very long time so the, the woman isn't there? Uh, <coughs> you could see her fall out, but she was falling out on the back side of the building. So uh, as okay. soon as she fell far enough, you couldn't see her anymore. I'm, I'm just uh, looking his way uh, to see if he like signals something or... Uh, yeah. Or um, what he's saying. But obviously I, I saw nothing or no one out of the ordinary, so I guess I'll head back and say it's empty. And Shall we go check thing. on the lady on the other side of the house? Uh, I think we can do that. It would be nice for us to do. See if she has some loot. Mm. Well, that's <laughs> also a possibility. <laughs> Maybe they're fighting inside there. I want to join that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just follow them. Let's go around the building and see if we can find a lady. All right. Uh, as you get closer to the building or the house itself, uh, when you peer inside, it seems there has been a battle. Uh, tables are broken, as far as you can see in the dark right now. Uh, you walk around, and on the other side of the manor, 
you see a, a, a graveyard uh, in the back garden. It has a small wall and in the middle of the graveyard there is a, a, a decorated crypt. And uh, the back door, which was made of uh, glass, it's sliding doors, uh, is also broken in. Uh, the, the glass has been broken inwards. You can also see a small garden and what seems to be a uh, servant's uh, hut, the servant house. However, you see no woman. Any signs of where she might have fallen? Like grass that's been... No, the, the ground seemed to have been dilapidated as well. They haven't been taken care of for a very long time. Well, that's all. Yeah. Yeah, well, they kicked the front door and the back door in, right? So they came in from both sides. I'm walking inside, just looking if there's some loot between the tables or empty <laughs> mugs of beer or uh, stuff like that. I, I'm coming with because I don't <laughs> want to miss out. I'm just, just, just looking like a tavern brawl to me, and I'm loving that. So <laughs> I, I'm just going in there and. You're just hoping there's a tavern. Yeah, <laughs> just hoping. Uh, all right, as you move in uh, through the, the, the broken doors, you have to step on some glass to actually get in. Uh, what you see, uh, it, it seems to be a, a dining hall, or at least it was a dining hall. Um, yeah, the, the table is broken, the, the chairs are broken. Uh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Yeah, you don't see anyone. You don't see anyone. Uh, anything of worth? No, no. I mean, a lot of broken stuff. Mm -hmm. It's been uh, abandoned for a while. Okay. At least You've got some weapons. Huh? You've got some weapons on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. That's why I wanted to fight in here. Yeah. That's, uh, that's my specialty. <laughs> Tables. Tables. Chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Park. wall. Park. <laughs> <laughs> the entire fucking map. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So did everybody uh, the, uh, walk in? Was the graveyard? Oh, yeah, will follow, yeah. All right. Was the graveyard inside the walls, or was it? The graveyard was inside the walls of the estate. Uh, it was uh, slightly further down the, the the garden in the back. You can right. still clearly see it, but there were uh, um, four to five foot walls around the graveyard, but you could see the crypt coming above it. Is there an indication of a of a fresh grave, or are they all? Uh... You would have to walk towards the graveyard to actually see the grave, because the graves are ground level oh, right. and the walls are. But you can okay. walk towards the graveyard if you want. Yeah, I think I, I might. I'm gonna check out. Maybe. Uh, all right. Maybe if there is something like a fresh grave, I might just be able to dig it up and see what I can eat or craft from it. Yeah, I'm sorry, eat what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, as soon as you enter the graveyard, you, you see someone. Ooh. There seems to be a man uh, uh, working on something near the crypt. And you walk towards him? Or? Uh, well, maybe now that I've seen him, I might just back off because I don't know. Maybe he get, he'll get scared of me. So maybe uh, I'll call out to the guys. Maybe let the, the human do the talking for me. If they want to come out. I'm still searching for beer inside of the <laughs> dining hall. Well, I mean, there are uh, <laughs> too. different rooms. You can you can check mm -hmm. if there is a, is a pantry or, a, or is a, the basement cellar. Well, I'm searching for a cellar then. Um, if that's... Uh, if that's there. Yeah, there are two doors in the dining room yeah. uh, on either walls. You can choose either. Left. Left. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh oh. <laughs> you uh, open uh, what seems to be the kitchen. Ooh. It's a strange on the floor appears, especially like old bloodstains. Uh, and there's still food on the counter, but it has been molded over and it, it's yeah. rotten beyond. Yeah. You can still recognize that it used to be food, but other than that, it's gone. Well, I get frustrated and walk outside. <laughs> <laughs> there's also no people to kill in the kitchen. <laughs> I walk in the kitchen, kitchen and uh, check the cupboards. 
You can, but it's just pots, pans, um, dust it, dust it over. Huh. Some doors have been broken out. Uh, okay, so I leave. <laughs> no beer. <laughs> Finally, hoping for a tavern inside this forest, and uh, there is none. And just an old manor. <laughs> yes, manor. Ben. So you found somebody in the yeah. graveyard. Is the is the guy aware of my presence, or has he not seen me yet? No, it was uh, a couple of feet away, thirty yeah. feet, and he was uh, busy working on something. Yeah. I guess maybe uh, I'll eye him for a while until one of one of them goes yeah. to talk to him. I'll uh, I'll walk up. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sir. <laughs> Hello? He is just working on what seems to be coffins. Did you happen to see a lady fall from the manor like five minutes ago? Uh, he looks at you and he ignores you and keeps on working on the coffins. Well, he's kind of rude. Yeah. I'll, um, you can. Are, are we there? Are, are, there uh, are we there as well? By this time? Are you? Do you want to be? Uh, well, uh, did we notice um, stuff happening outside? Yeah, you didn't walk into the dining room, so you were still outside, right? Yeah, I was uh, okay. keeping an eye. Uh, I'm still. Yeah. So, did, did we notice and... them? Yeah, yeah, he probably told all of you that there's okay. a man in the graveyard. And I'll uh, walk out and see what's going on. Well, what you see. Is that he is making <coughs> he's making the fine the finishing touches on what seems to be the fourth coffin. Okay. There are three fi finished coffins and there is. And he's almost done with the fourth. Are the bodies in the coffins? So no, that's not <laughs> ominous at all. <laughs> Four adventurers <laughs> arriving in this weird ass manner. Four coffins. Are there mm. are there four dug out graves? No. No, no, no graves. So he hasn't start. dug anything yet. Uh, you look around the graveyard. You do see one uh, dug out grave that has not been filled, but it already has a tombstone. But you're standing behind it, so you, you couldn't read it from here. I'd like to go stand yeah. next to the man. Watch over his. Well, under his, <laughs> his arm. <laughs> yeah. it's, a, it's, an, just, it's just an old man, so he's not that tall, but you're still yeah, uh, smaller than him. Just. just a little too close for comfort when you're trying to work on something, just seeing what he's doing. Well, he's just still working, but just you do notice that as you get closer, he does get, he, he gets uh, agitated. But you do feel a, a chill the closer you get. Hmm. And then if you get even closer, he turns around and he said, he says, leave me be. Well, he's maybe rude. At least say, please. We could kill him and eat him. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to eat, everyone? I, I already ate, I'm good. <laughs> I had some pizzas on the way in. Uh, I walk up to him and uh, shove him and say, what happened here? Uh, as soon as you try to shove him, he uh, gets really agitated and uh, he lets out a, 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 not a loud scream, but uh, he does that and then he disappears. I, I look around confused. <laughs> you, you don't see him anywhere. He's, he's gone. There goes my lunch, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Can I investigate the coffin see if there are any markings or names or anything sure. that might indicate information you can make an investigation check eight eight uh you walk around the coffins they're made of simple wood they are however weirdly enough shaped like the four of you two small ones two a little bit larger ones no names on it uh, the lids are still open, waiting to be inhabited by someone. Is there anything nice on the coffins, like gold that we can sell? No, it's simple wood. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a weapon? What kind of weapon do you have? I have an axe. Mind chopping these tiny ones up in uh, little pieces? 
Well, yeah, I can do that. You know, dwarf size. I, I need my frustrations to do that. So, yes, <laughs> I, I'm going to chop those coffins in pieces. Okay. My, uh, I, I am slightly annoyed by the fact that you didn't ask the actual... Chop the wood, but whatever. Oh, I'm doing it. I have a hand axe, I'm doing it like slice. Only dwarfs part of the chopper guild are allowed to chop wood. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting yeah. all my frustration in chopping the wood. Oh, you, you, de- you destroy them. There is yeah. absolutely nothing left but cinders or splinters. <laughs> we could take oh, a uh, good burn this place to yeah. the ground if we wanted to. Yeah, Please. no, you destroy the coffins and there's there's nothing left of them. Well. Do you want to go upstairs? We could we could take something to make a campfire later on, right? Wood shivers or whatever. You could take, take some wood shivers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with the splinters. Mm-hmm. Wood no. shavings. Yeah. Shavings for the easier uh, easier to little make. bits of wood. Yeah. Yeah, but you can tinder. take some wood. Yeah, you can say. But the, there is take some tinder. Yeah. Find a nice date. Uh, there's still uh, the <laughs> servants' uh, servants' quarter, servants' house that we haven't checked. Uh, yeah, uh, if you uh, exit, you can see it from the graveyard. But if you exit the That's graveyard, not, you yeah. can go to uh, what seems to be the servants' yeah, house. Yeah, okay. also the the other doors we haven't checked. I, At I, least I, I, I was in the kitchen. Yeah, I didn't yeah. find anything, so we can look in there as well if we want. I kick in the door of the servants' uh, house. All right, you do that. You can make a uh, a strength check. Uh, so that's uh, 19 yeah you break in the door I mean it's all wood you you, you splinter it Uh, the servant's house is um, you know it just has a bed a table it's it's simply uh, organized Uh, however the first thing you notice is uh, a body hanging from the roof on a noose right above the bed and he seems to have been hanging there you can see it's a he, but he's been hanging there for a while. Uh, Fred says, brutal. <laughs> and, and starts looking for uh, more stuff of worth. <laughs> you can make an uh, investigation check. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, that's g- probably not going to go well. Cause, uh, oh, yeah. Um, that's a solid uh, three. <laughs> three? Yeah, no, you, you, you are so captivated by the, the dead body hanging there. That you hardly notice anything, and there's barely anything here to find. Okay. I walk out again. <laughs> what did you see? Uh, that guy and not much of worth. So. Uh, Interesting. If nobody needs a dead guy, I might just go and eat. How did he die? <laughs> I don't need a dead guy, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I, uh, I, I was probably hung. To the, to the did he hang board? himself? Was he hung by others? Did you know that? I don't know, I didn't check. Okay. I go inside, so. try to check that. Right. Sure. I'll wait for um, you. you. You don't have to roll for that because you can see that um, uh, where he's hanging yeah. is slightly beside his bed. Like his bed was high enough uh-huh. to step off. So he okay. probably hung, hung, hung himself. Hang. So somebody on himself. Somebody yeah. jumped off the building, and somebody was making four us-sized coffins. Yeah, and he are we going to kill ourselves? Probably, maybe. That's some like give shitty other. adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go on a different adventure than <laughs> killing ourselves. I think I'm, we should walk out of here into the forest. Oh, maybe I that's mean, a better plan. I did say this is a one shot. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go up, though, I'm gonna go in the servants' quarter and I'm gonna take the guy down. Uh, and I have the uh, the ability with my, my swords to chop him up and uh, make a, a javelin out of his remains. So I'm gonna do that. Okay. Well, and I'll, I'll leave the servants' quarter. Whatever I see this happening. <laughs> hey, you you are in the servants' quarter. I'm, I'm, I'm used I'm, to I'm see it, gonna, but I'm, I'm going, going out of there as well. <laughs> make sure I don't see it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> if you are in the servants' quarters, then you were close enough to, to see his features and even though he's been long dead he still resembles the man you try to uh, talk to in the graveyard oh. well that's just even weirder no. oh, I didn't see the man thing. in the graveyard but um, <laughs> okay <laughs> I, I guess I still proceed with my plan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Well, you, you, you cut the noose, you catch him, 
And how exactly are you making a javelin from his uh, deceased corpse? From his spine. His spine? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It does not I mean, get easier uh, living with this a, guy. It's more like a, a, a whip a javelin. Yeah, we've been yeah. Hanging, uh, how do we do this? <laughs> Whatever I don't use for the javelin, I'll... I really I'll need a drink now. <laughs> I mean, he's been long dead. There's, there's no uh, meat left. It's that's just not, that's not skin tasty. and bone. No. Well, at least I, I'll get the javelin out of it. So. You now have a, uh, a yeah, spine, yeah. spinal limb. Yeah. It's, yeah. Which, which is, is the, 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 the butt side is on the point of the javelin? And, uh, yeah. And I'll just, I'll just carve a... So you're killing yeah. people with butts. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good. Exactly. Well, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> I have so. been, I've been doing it for a couple of years because that's the lizard way, right? You make use of, of your kills. They're, they're pretty much... Uh, I wouldn't say used to it, but well, they've seen it a couple of times. Yeah, we've seen it doesn't get easier. <laughs> it does not no. get easier. <laughs> I don't like it. So anyway, that well, happened. I'm uh, thinking we uh, should go uh, outside of here into the forest, hoping for a tavern that did, isn't. Did we check the other door? There's also, a, uh, when you're in the garden, you can see a back gate. So there's also, a, uh, on that side, there's a gate. A we, have the, we have the door, right? The downstairs, and you went yeah, well, left. I went into the kitchen. There was no food there. It was all rotten. I don't think there's food on the other side, but you can check if you want. I'm not uh, going in there anymore. I hate the place. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what, what's the worst that can happen? Ghosts? More rotten food. Look, if you want, <laughs> if you want to find a tavern, that's also fine. Well, I can, I can. Well, we can go in there, check the door. But if there's no food in there, we're gonna burn it down. That's my plan. Fair enough. Okay. Do you agree I mean, with it? Anything is food for him. So <laughs> well, well, yes. I, will, I already lost my bet to you, so it's not my best day. <laughs> you guys want to check upstairs? No. Uh, well, I'm gonna, yeah. Okay. Cool. He finds no food. <laughs> what, 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 what do we find in the other room? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's just an empty room, an empty storage room. Yeah, no, I'm just waiting for you to burn the fuck down. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got some spell slots. <laughs> want me to do it, or do you want to burn this place down? No, no, you can do it. I, 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 I like you burning things down. Yeah. Uh, you Last time it was a forest, he wasn't too happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't need a, a high level spell because uh, the, the wood is old and it, it burns really quickly. So, you know. I'm assuming a cantrip should do the trick. Oh yeah, cantrips. well that's that's just I don't I don't have a cantrip that does actually fire damage, which is lame. Like a cleric doesn't get any. Yeah, wow. sacred flame isn't actually a flame. No, it's mostly no. sacred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sacred flames don't burn. Yeah, but you know his hands. Oh. Yeah. All right, so you're standing uh, on the, at the back side at the dining. Uh, Probably house. in the middle. In the middle. <laughs> yeah, all right, in the middle of the house. You just cast burning hands and the walls just immediately catch fire and starts to burn heavily. If you stay too long there, you'll be caught yeah, in flames. Yeah, I should, I should yeah. probably leave now. So, so we're out of here? Yeah, there's nothing to look here for. Yeah, so you're uh, standing but in the backyard. I mean, it's already reached the third floor of the manor. It is burning quickly. Do we see other people jumping out of the window? No, there are okay. no people jumping out anywhere. You don't hear any screams. There's just the uh, burning of all the Nothing happening. Nothing triggered or anything. Just nope. no. right. Well, that seems like a successful evening. Uh, yeah. Midday. It's. it's yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, you all I get uh, uh, three thousand experience. What, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the sun is just. It's still rising. It's yeah, about. Clock, uh, right? I would like to check the clock. Yeah, it was on the the front gate has a clock, so you're still. At, if oh, you we're at walk, the back, right? Yeah, yeah we're, we're at the, the back. back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the road continues at the back. I mean, you can. Walk to the front if you want. Sure, but I'll do it. The clock is still uh, stuck on one o'clock. Well, that's weird. But the sun has risen, so you you can see time is time moving fast. forward. Yeah, yeah. Weird. Well, did we find a bell somewhere? Mm. Oh, the, uh, uh, at the front gate. Oh, the uh, bell the, the front under the clock. There's a bell. Uh, oh, okay. yeah. Well, I throw a rock at the bell. Oh, sorry. I, th I take a rock and throw it at the bell. Oh yeah, no, the the bell rings. Uh, okay. I'm mildly amused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mildly amused. I'm not amused at all. I'm amused by this place burning down. Yeah. The, yeah. 
it's it's by the it's, heat, it's, it's uh, crumbling now. Okay. Let's uh, let's go find you a yeah. tavern. Yes, I would like that. So you're going uh, no the back here. gate. Just continue the road mm -hmm. yeah, to the dense forest. All right. Uh, you keep walking through the forest, uh, and at some point, the even the burning house isn't visible anymore. Uh, and you keep walking and walking, and the sun is still rising. You know, it's around twelve-ish now. Uh, and then time's going backwards. No, no. I mean, it was ten o'clock in the morning, and it's now twelve o'clock, so it's noon oh. now. So okay. Now time is just as far as you know, time is perfect. Uh, and as you're walking through the dense forest, uh, you hear a bell ring once, but it's not coming from behind. It's coming from the way you're going. Continue walking. As you walk <laughs> and walk and walk, mm -hmm. uh, you see a familiar sight. There's a gate there with a bell and a clock above it and high walls going around it and a manor behind it i'm really still frustrated <laughs> right now still, I'm still broken up and but do we see someone jumping out of the window no but uh i can burn this place down six more times but then i need a then i need a break, <laughs> <laughs> so you're standing in front of what seems to be exactly the same thing you stood before the last time you saw we, uh, in the middle of nowhere are we walking around do we have any idea, of, 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 like, if we're walking in a big circle in the forest? It doesn't feel so. It doesn't like feel so. No. The house is Cause very much not burned down at the moment. <laughs> That's yeah. 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 And the ranger can also uh, see that uh, the sun has always been on your left side. It's moving towards your right, but at the moment it's still on the right side, left side, which is the right side. <laughs> Shall we check if the coffins are in the back or if? That's also splintered or not. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm really frustrated right now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing anything. I'm just <laughs> sitting there, frustrated. You just do your stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go check the back, check the cemetery, I'm coming see with. if I can find if the dude is there, if he's not there, and whether there are four us shaped coffins. As you uh, enter the graveyard, you pass several gra graves, including the already open plot uh, and you also see uh, a man standing there finishing the last touches of the fourth coffin well i know he's rude <laughs> so i'm not even gonna bother talking to the guy um can i check the open grave yeah it um it is next to a grown-up sized grave because the open plot seems to be child-sized uh, it's small and it has a uh, gravestone uh, which says uh, Berthold. But it is empty. It is empty, yeah. It's uh, it's an open plot. Okay, I, I kick in the door of the uh, servants' <laughs> quarters again. <laughs> oh, it says Berthold Valentine. Berthold. The last name is on there as well. You, sorry? I kick uh, the door in of the service corner again. Yeah, you find the same man hanging there from his rope. Okay. Well, you're so still he's in the graveyard? No, no, he went to the service. Uh, he's yeah. in the graveyard. No, but so, so the guy who was hanging there is also the same guy who was standing there. The, 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 the guy is still building coffins as he is also hanging there from. So, so we've from already found a javelin <laughs> duke glitch. Yeah, so I go over and I make a second. <laughs> <laughs> I think we found a business here. <laughs> We're gonna sell some human javelin. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, you know, that's Just need to way. reach the next town. Well, I am past my frustration and I'm walking to the graveyard. And I'm wondering, who is this guy? I do, I'm asking who is this guy? Like, no. I don't know. He was here last time, he's kind of rude. Uh, I missed him last time. disappears. Okay. You said he disappears, you said? If you shove him, he just disappears. Well, I, I'm going there, I'm trying to grab him. You try to... To grab the guy, yeah. and then ask him, who are you? As you uh, try and grab him, your arms just go straight through. And he's gone. He is not gone. He turns around, and he says, can I help you? 
Yeah, who are you? What am I doing here? What is this place? And I'm looking really frustrated. Like, <laughs> I know I can't hit him, but otherwise I would. <laughs> I'm holding back my anger to hit him. Yeah, yeah. No, he uh, he answers. He says his name is uh, Finn Cool, uh, and you are here to die. Oh. No, it's I'm not, not here cool. to die. <laughs> I'm not here to die. Who are you? How can I get out of here? And I'm trying to grab him again, but that's not working. And no, you just you know, <laughs> grab <laughs> straight through. Like, <laughs> yeah. And then he just ignores me, or does he do something? No, he doesn't ignore you. He says, uh, you're not the first ones I had to bury here. And you won't be the last ones. But you hung yourself. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just want to dance. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. No, he'll just uh, blindingly keep on building the last coffin. Why did you hung, hang yourself? And he finally turns around and says, because I was ashamed, I hid in my house while it was all happening. He is, he says and when I came out, they were all gone. Okay, uh, wh while that's happening, I walk Can you make any sense of this guy? I'm not getting anything. Uh, what's your uh, called again? Dratos. Yeah, I'm, I walk over to Dratos and I sort of nudge him and I point at uh, his human javelin and I point at uh, the ghost dude. Like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I guess I'll, I'll throw one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll throw a javelin. <laughs> okay, now you're sure. Yeah, okay. his own spine. Kill it by my own spine. Uh, you can make an attack roll right. with your javelin. Your I'm worried. Uh, I'm still standing next to him. But <laughs> 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 you're still trying to hug him. <laughs> I'm trying to hug him. Uh, so the javelin is Sorry, which one should I use for the javelin? Uh, Dex or strength, right? Depending. I think it's strength. Yeah, you can Throwing use Throwing is strength, at least. Hey? Hmm. And a hand dex. Well, I can compare it to a javelin. Yeah. Thing. So you roll Why your uh, d20. Are you proficient in javelins? Uh, I'm proficient, proficient in athletics. No, well, in. Uh, All weapons, I think. Yeah, weapons. you're other weapons as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so I, you're proficient. Uh, I'm so proficient in simple weapons. And I've made it. Yeah, from it's a simple both, weapon. So. Uh, Rules, man. Oh, never no, you can, uh, in this book. You can yeah. roll a d20 to see if you hit, and then because you are proficient, you get to add a plus two and a plus two, so it's All plus right. four. So, 18? Yes. So you're standing outside of the servant's house. Yeah. You can see over the small wall, you can see Vinpool standing there. Yeah. And you throw your javelin, and yes. you hit him right in his face, which it goes through. Uh, but he's not very happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> so he isn't happy at all. Huh? He uh, turns around grumpily and he disappears again. Uh, oh, Jesus. So first thing I'll do, I'll slap Fred across his mouth, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then I'll try to retrieve my javelin. Yeah, you know your javelin. It went through him, but you know it's stuck in one of the coffins. Right. Probably uh -huh. yours. Ooh, that's a nice thing. Fred says, brutal. Fred <laughs> slaps him back. <laughs> oh, you think he actually killed him with one blow? Mm. Yeah. Wow, you killed him. <laughs> yeah. I'm no. frustrated he's gone again, and I'm yeah, taking yeah. my axe and hitting all those coffins again. So, like, I'm not going to be buried in here. I just yeah. want to get out yeah. of here. Shall we, uh, shall we move on again and then probably come back here again in, like, what, six hours or something? Yes. Four hours. But I'm hungry now, yeah. and I'm already angry. So <laughs> it's not. Maybe we should look if there's at least some food in here. So the guy said that he hung himself because he was ashamed that he hid when something was happening in the house. And when he was done hiding, they were all gone. I'm assuming dead. Yeah. So it's, it's so he's probably a handyman or at least a servant in some way of. The yeah. people that were living here, right? So the next time we can stop trying to hit the guy, maybe we can talk to him. <laughs> uh, I, I guess uh, I got questions. hungry too. Uh, I guess I don't have anything on me, right? 
Well, you have your rations that you took right. on with you when you started on this I, quest. I could also like scout around the nearby forest to if I can find something. Like, it's it's actually, so we are on, like on a quest. Like, what are we, what are we supposed to do? What was our task? You. Oh. You, had, you were on your I mean, way we're to kill that dragon. Burned your forest down. You obviously. Were, are we? Yeah, okay. you were on your way to kill that dragon. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> you can. You do see next to the servant house. There's a small uh, garden with. Um, you know, plants that haven't been taken care of for a while, but you, you can check to see if anything's... Right. I'll, I'll go do that. I'll go raid the uh, little farm blood. You can make a, uh, a nature or a medicine check if you want. Yeah, I'll do a nature one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, you roll your d20 and your add your nature. That's Oof. a d12. <laughs> You're lucky that that's a d12. Yeah. Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Better. Uh, nature into as zero is it's 14 clean. Well, you move towards the garden and you rummage around the weeds, and although most is dead, you still find some roots that have uh, medicinal value. Right. So it's not food, but you can use it to make medicine. Yeah, I'll pocket those. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess I'll, I'll search around the, uh, the outer sides of the wall in the, the close by forest. See if I can find some more while they uh, decide what to do next, I guess. I'll follow so I'm, I'm, not, yeah, I'm looking at you. You're a smart guy. What do yeah, we need to do? I'm uh, highly intelligent. <laughs> um, I, I think we should just loop around again. You look like a smart guy. <laughs> yeah, that's because of the fire. <laughs> yes, that's why. Loop around the house or the, the manor? Or? In yeah, the, in the land of a walk in, and I'm assuming we're going to come back again at the front. Mm. In the land of the blind, one ma the one-eyed man is king. I'm going to it's so count one your eyes out. And leave one. <laughs> yeah, sorry, you. Uh, there was still one o'clock, right? On the the clock the still yeah. says one o'clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but you're, uh, yet the sun is still moving. Yes. So it's Thanks. bright. It's it's bright day now. Do we remember how we got into this forest? I mean, we walked in there. Yeah. No. Well, uh, when we set out, uh, I was pretty hungover, so I don't you know. You got kicked out of the tavern <laughs> because you, you know. Yeah, did, did you yeah I, re I remember now, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was happy that this time at least you waited after dinner instead of <laughs> yes, yes, before. <laughs> As you are talking, uh, you suddenly hear the bell toll once again. And as that happens, you're still all standing in the backyard, right? No, oh, I'm still there. Aren't we outside the wall? I was not we, we are still inside, I think. Yeah, you're I think inside. You, you are still in the forest. I was outside the, circling the wall. Yeah, so you're all to almost them. towards the front gate, but you're halfway there. Uh, the wall is 12 feet high, so you can't see over it. Uh, you were going with him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, then you two are in the backyard. You see um, okay. 10 ghostly figures appear at the back gate. <clears throat> they seem humanoid for the minus the fact that they obviously are dead and uh, uh, one of them shouts come on man let's attack and the one who shouted uh, moves towards the graveyard with five other men and the four remaining men are moving towards the dining hall so where the glass door was shattered in do they ignore us? Do they? As in they seem to not notice you. Okay. They, the the four men uh, <coughs> running towards the dining hall, uh, yeah, run well, past yeah. you. Yeah, and but they ignore you. And the others who are going to the graveyard, do you are not there? So was the uh, the shout audible for us? You can hear uh, shouting, but you also hear uh, on the other side near the front gate um, uh, footsteps rushing in all right so I'll, I'll tell him uh lay low take it easy i hear footsteps let's check it out uh, and we proceed slowly through the the bushes next to the the wall to the front gate yeah uh, okay so the i we don't see anyone right it's just are you peering in uh we just we just uh crouch walk like onto the, the gate we can see mm -hmm. the gate and the path um, 
We haven't peeped inside yet. There you can you don't see anybody there. Uh, you do see uh, from an angle that the clock says one o'clock. I, I'm trying to <coughs> grab one of the guys closest to me uh, to grab his attention to ask what the fuck is going on here. All right, so uh, the I four think that's men. One of the guys who walking into the dining hall, right? Yeah, yeah. So the four men walking to the dining hall, they um, you can clearly see that the, the doors are broken. You could easily yeah. step in. However, they seem to be trying to break that door in, even though it's not there. But you hear the actions of them breaking the door and breaking the glass. Uh, and as soon as you try to grab one, all four of them turn around and focus solely on you. And roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming I'm also there. Uh, you're, you're, yeah, you're close to him. Yeah. And how about us? Uh, you're not there. As uh, soon as you notice him being attacked, you can roll initiative. We, uh, I guess we just uh, um, roll up to the front gate and then we peek around and we see the, the ghostly guys at the front door. You see bashing, right? five ghostly guys bashing in the front door, even though once again the front door is already broken down. It seems they hadn't gotten the clue yet and they're trying to break down a non-existing door. But you do, you do hear them hitting that door. Right. I so roll a nine. I might just yeah. tell Fred that there's no... No chance we win against five with the two of us. <laughs> we got this. My news, <laughs> easy peasy. So Can I, I still grab him? I, su <laughs> <laughs> I suggest we we head back to the backyard where we left them as soon as possible. I guess. Being a bit insulted, I f follow along. <laughs> what do you, I, I thought you. What do you mean? I can't take me. five guys. <laughs> <laughs> Take out an entire forest. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got nineteen. Nineteen. I lost all my initiative grabbing that guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're so flustered about what is happening. Yeah. I'm really frustrated then. Alright. The um, I'll, I'll do one round and then I'll come back to you what you're doing. Yeah. So the one guy you're trying to grab turns around, focuses on you and the other three yeah. join him in it. Uh, you're flustered by what just happened. Yeah, I thought he was a ghost as well. I was like, maybe I'm going to yeah. check if this is a ghost. But well, well, you try to grab him <laughs> and you also went straight through him. Oh, yeah. fuck. However, <laughs> you were keeping an eye on him and of course the ghost. So you saw... What is going to happen? And you can attack first. I ain't afraid of ghosts. I walk up and I cast. Uh, I use my channel divinity to turn undead. Right. Alrighty, righty, right. There's. Uh, I, I grab my uh, holy symbol from my neck, the symbol of Lathander, and it shines a bright yellow glow. And um, the undead boys must make a wisdom save. Wisdom. DC is fourteen. All right. Power of God to compel <laughs> All right, two of them make it, two of them don't. The ones that don't are turned, and they must use their actions trying to get away from me uh, as fast as possible. Yeah, and you're standing next to him, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna close up mm. right next to him. Right, you're using your movement to stand next to him, and then they have to run their entire movement away from you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, like they can get closer to you. They can't get closer to me, and I must. Use its action to flee. To flee. Right. Yeah. Good. Uh, until they take damage. Yeah. Or, or a minute passes. Save. But oh, right. No, no save. Just no a, save. Minute, a minute or damage. Right. Well, that's quite a long time. All right. <laughs> um, then that's your turn? Yeah. I'll uh, I'll be, uh, tell the um, uh, bold beer like uh, those two are fleeing. Okay. Let's focus on the others. Okay. So, it's uh, the first Spectre's turn, the one who uh, wasn't frightened. Uh, and he is still completely focused on you. And he will uh, attack you. Okay. For, ooh, he rolls a 12. That does not hit me. That misses. I'm not wearing my shield and weapon as well right now. I was just trying to grab him, so... 
The next turn is gonna be fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, then the next two spectres uh, who are up uh, are frightened by the cleric, uh, and they use their turn to move thirty feet away from you. Do they have to use their action to dash as well? Or? No, wait, they use their action to move away. They use their action to move away, yeah. Yeah, so they're, they're running away. Yeah. And then it's the, the last Spectre's turn, who is also still not frightened. He also attacks you, but he rolls a 21. That hits. Right, that is... Uh, well, all right, <laughs> that's five necrotic damage. Yes. And you have to make a DC Constitution saving throw. I won't say the DC yet. yet. Sixteen. Yeah, you make it. Nothing. <coughs> uh, nothing other than the necrotic damage affects you. Okay. And then it is your turn. Okay. I'm raging right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm raging. Right, right, right. I'm, yeah. I'm, uh, is it the full action to grab your weapon? No, you can just grab your weapon. Okay, then I'm, I'm grabbing my weapon and then I'm, I'm trying to hit the guy closest to me. One of the two guys. Alright. That's 10. I'm sorry, 10? Yes, 10. <laughs> you uh, <laughs> missed the spectre. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the best, uh, I yeah. think I'm good at his fighting, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's difficult to punch uh, a yeah, The necrotic yeah. damage hurt more than you expected yeah. it would. Yeah. I'm just like, yeah, it's not my day. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I mean, you go to hit him, and it seems he's just ghostly moving away from your axe. Ghostly moving away. Is that all you want to do on your turn? Oh. Fail? Oh, I can do on my <laughs> turn. <laughs> can move away, but I'm not gonna. No. No. All right, then it's uh, back to the other dwarf. Uh, can I position right. myself that um, I got both ghost boys and part of the building within 15 feet of me, so I can burning hands the, the ghosts and the building. <laughs> Yeah, the ghosts were already um, trying to break down the door, <coughs> so they're next to the door. So yeah, you can. The ones who are not, who did not run away, right? Yeah, the ones yeah. who are still there, you can you can hit them. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna hold out my hand again and just fire flings from my fingertips as I hear the ghosts scream. Uh, anyway, uh, they must make a deck save. DC 14 deck save. I shall. They both fail. Nice. They take 9, 11 fire damage. 11 fire damage. Yes. And I ignite any flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Is the mansion being worn or carried? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That's <laughs> good. But the, ang the angle you needed to take that means you, you got, uh, it, it went mostly through the, the dining hall doors. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it caught the door frames. <coughs> okay. That's, and, uh, that, that's good mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. Now, after your turn. Uh, we will see what the other two uh, intrepid, intrepid uh, adventurers were doing. Well, we're re walking all the way back around the uh, the, well, the whilst wall. You're, whilst you're walking uh, on the other side of the wall, you can hear the scuffle these two are causing. Yeah. So we need to get in there. Yeah, I tried to climb the wall just, just straight two over. Dwarves of a well, it was twelve feet, right? <laughs> yeah, was 12 I'm not having fun. <laughs> I'm yeah, frustrated. Well. I'm angry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm missing <laughs> five, five meters. <laughs> I try and uh, give him. Uh, try to lift him up the wall. Sure, you I can, can do hit that. these things. Right? I want to hit. Yeah, you can. Uh, if you are helping him uh, uh, go over the wall, then he can make his uh, strength check with advantage. Right. While he's trying. Is that to dex? Or oh, dex yeah. check? Yeah, sure. Uh, your acrobatics check. Yeah, yeah. That's acrobatics dex. Yeah. So that's a plus five. And you have advantage, so you can roll twice and take the higher. That's 15. So That's I enough. guess I get up there. Yeah. And uh, I pull out the, the longbow that I have handy. Yeah. With prior knowledge that my arrows actually hit spectres. 
right? Or do they just... Well, you, you have knowledge that your javelin uh, went through uh, the uh, land in the graveyard. But <laughs> uh, yeah, but so you used your action to climb the wall, yeah. and um, so I can only jump to grab the bow. So you're now sitting on top of the wall, seeing Wait. them fight. Mm -hmm. If you want to use your movement to just run around and go through the back gate, yeah, I'm just gonna run. Yeah, well, or you you reach the the back gate and all your movement. Okay. Okay. And then we're back to uh, this, the the boys. The, the the first specter who was trying to attack you. Who is now because uh, you were going to stand in between them, which means you're closer to him now, and you just hit him really hard. So he's going to oh. try and attack you. Just raise the temperature a little bit. I uh, would like to put my shield up front. And the holy symbol on my shield just flares up in a bright light. I use warding flare, and if he is not immune to being blinded, he has disadvantage on the attack. Then I will roll again. <laughs> <laughs> and he will miss. He is blinded by your holy light. Awesome. Blinded the is a by good boy. light. And then <laughs> the two other specters are still frightened. Uh, they can't move closer. Nope. In fact, they have to run away. One no, they have to run away again. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They they run away uh, uh, to the other side of the building. Which brings up the last specter, who is uh, still close to you and trying to hit you. Again. And he rolls a fourteen. That misses. Misses. He is also slightly blinded by the holy light that just <laughs> flared up. <laughs> okay. And then it's your turn. Okay, I'm taking my uh, shield out now, I'm frustrated. And I think uh, I might need it sometime soon. So I'm taking my shield out and then I'm trying to hit that guy with my axe again. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying the other D20, but it didn't work. <laughs> and again, you barely miss him. Yeah. <laughs> should use the improvised weapon. Yeah, you should <laughs> grab the table and throw that. Yeah. Uh, now that you two have joined the battle, you can both roll initiative. Stop the burning door frame. All at 20. Start smacking. Yeah. Uh, what do you need to add to this? 17 and then? Initiative. Yeah. Uh, uh, 20. Wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good because that means you're both up now. Who is the higher dex? He is the higher dex, so yeah. you get to go first. Um, I'm you sitting on top of the wall with my longbow in my hand, but yeah. I, I know my arrows won't do anything. Right, So I, I need to get up close uh, to actually get in the fight, I guess. Well, you but it's a high drop. You can make a, uh, a free insight check. Just make an insight check. Because I'm a, a, I'm a kind DM. I want to be known as a kind DM who only kills after being kind. <laughs> uh, so that's wisdom uh, plus two on it. So that makes it 11. Yeah. You can see that uh, the ones attacking them look different than because the the first time you saw Vin Cool in the graveyard he looked like a completely normal man you could not see he was a spirit these uh, actually they, they they seem dead there their faces are caved in zombie like features and they have a green glow about them so they, they don't seem similar to the groundskeeper right. I like the ghost army of Lord of the Rings yeah, yeah, that, them. All right. Uh, well, I guess I'll use my movement to uh, get closer to uh, to the fight. Yeah. Uh, then I guess uh, realizing the mistake I made by pulling out my longbow to correct that by, by pulling out my sword shorts. Uh, that's the action then, right? Or is that a bonus? Uh, Weapon swap. You can uh, do it as a bonus action. Do I mo move enough to get in range to unleash an attack? Uh, 
Yeah, it's right next to the the dining. Right. So I guess I'll storm uh, the one that's closest to uh, to him, because um, uh, he's in attack range of my ally, of course. So I'll I guess I'll go and try to damage him with my short swords. Sure. Yeah, you can attack him. All right. So I need the d twenty. No, I need yeah. I have sword swords that do one die six plus three, and I have two. So I, yeah. I can roll for each one. Well, you used right. uh, your the one, or one of your actions to uh, swap your so weapons. So you, can get, you get one attack with your short one. Yeah. But you have to roll a d20 to see if you hit. Uh, uh, six. <laughs> so that's going to be a no, I guess. Well, you add your proficiency and your strength. So that's plus four. Or dex. Or dex, which is yeah. plus five. So it's either ten or eleven. Yeah, well, 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 but, you know, 11 is one more than, than 10, which you got. <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that still misses. Yeah. Oh, I, guess. I gave you hope, and then I got one drive. Oh, this is, this is the part where you're no longer nice. No, <laughs> I, I've done my nice bits. That ends your turn? So, but they're, they're all clean misses, right? It's not like they're going through them. They're all just clean whiffs. Yeah, you, you, you miss them. They, they're not going through them, right? Yeah, right. That, uh... It's your gym is up. Uh, it's Fred. Fred. <laughs> How did I not remember? <laughs> <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> I, uh, really difficult names. Fred. <laughs> uh, I, I walk up to uh, one of the specters and I try and hit him with my axe. Is that just yeah. what I do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can do the same thing. Try and hit him. So that's uh, 15. Yeah, that hits. Well, at least you know what you need to get. <laughs> Fred's coming in here, show him how it's done. Uh, yes, yeah, D12. Yeah. yeah. This plus three. Hit him for ten. Ten damage. I think. I hope. Yeah, alright. Nice one. I mean, I, I want to say he's hurting, but he's a ghost. He, he looks exactly the same. <laughs> Nothing changes. Okay, so. <laughs> but you hit him. Yeah. That's my turn. Yes. As soon as you do that, you hear um, shouting coming from down in the crypt. Someone's uh, shouting, and burn in hell forever. Come, uh, come on, fellas. Well, I mean, he's shouting a little bit more excited than what I just did. But <laughs> yeah, we got the point. Yeah, and uh, uh, the first five that you saw go into the crypt are now coming out of the crypt. And they're not there yet, but they were also running towards the dining hall. And then it's your turn. Seems like it might become a problem. Uh, well, a whole lot of fire going on right now. I am going to cast a little something. And I think I'm just going to do a sacred flame on the dude who's been attacking me. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you can make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, I, I horribly, he horribly fails. That is seven radiant damage. Seven radiant damage. And as you hit him with that radiant damage, uh, he screams in agony for a moment and then just dissipates into thin air and he's gone. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> you're, well, at least you're efficient. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, can I see if the five dudes from the crypt are going to try and move through me? And if so, I would like to move away a little bit. So I well, you, you, when you, he tried to attack one of the, the, the ghostly figures, uh, mm -hmm. he was a little bit to the side. So when they started attacking, they moved a bit towards you. However, if you uh, look at the, the ones coming, they seem to be going... For the dining hall, they just like the original. They yeah. don't. So we are not in their path. They, you're not in that path. No, okay, okay. they're just yeah. 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 How many ghostly figures are there around us? Eight. No, the, well, I mean, two. Oh. One right in front of you. Two are, are running away, and five are coming. And the guys at, at the front door haven't joined the fight yet. No. Right. 
They may be meeting up with the two ghost boys who are running away at the moment. Not sure how big the. I'm just <laughs> hoping for those women at some point jumping out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> Come to save us all. <laughs> So that means it's um, <coughs> the Spectre's turn who are running away, which they are still doing. Yep. And then uh, it's the one uh, who is still left, who was attacking you, and he will continue to do so. Mm. Awesome. And he misses. Well, Ooh. at least he's as good as I am. There's a lot of missing going on in this fight. And then it's your turn. Okay, well, I, I'm trying to hit him this time. I'm getting real yeah. close to him. And then I'm, uh, Extra angry. Yeah, I'm trying to... Oh, nice. Uh, 22. Yes, that hits him. Okay, and as I'm waiting, I'm doing uh, 1d8 plus 6. So that's 8 slashing damage. All right. And as I'm hitting, I can do a bonus attack with my body as i'm a spiked armor so yeah. i'm just like bumping into him uh, body check with my chest i'm looking if i need to do that if it's a free damage or if i'm just yeah i must roll for that as well and that is 14 to hit Oh, 14 to hit. Yes, yes. that hits. That hits. For 14 damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's on the massive spike, spike damage. <laughs> no, no. Spike damage is less. Spikes of half a meter. It's as I'm raging. Yeah, it's lead. So that's 2 plus 4 plus 2. That's 8 piercing damage. Oh, that is a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you hit him. You, you chest bump him with your spikes. Yes. And uh, the same happens to him, what happened to uh, his one. He yeah. uh, screams for a moment and dissipates. Uh, nice. And that ends your turn? Yes. That's end my turn. Then you see the five men who came from the crypt are uh, rushing past you and into the dining hall. And uh, deeper into the house. They seem to completely not notice you. How is the fire going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, 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 the dining hall is starting to... The ghosts don't care. Yeah. They're just going. No, they're, they're, they're going towards the inside. You do see uh, smoke coming uh, out of the crypt. Maybe we should check that out. Are yeah. we out of combat now? <laughs> Well, basically, if we don't disturb the ghost, they're doing sort of like an instant replay of what happened. Yeah. In yeah. about one minute, by the way, two boys are going to probably head back and try and murder us. But we have a minute. <laughs> well, I'm only having one minute left to wait. So <laughs> 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 I don't know what I'm... Uh... Well, how does the fire look? Is it like, can I go in there and still fight those boys? Or is it like, when I go in there, I'm... <laughs> no, I'm getting burned. No, the fire won't, uh, won't, won't. No. Hurt well, at the moment. as I'm thinking, maybe when I was trying to touch them, they got angry. They got like physical. So maybe if we just throw something at them while they're inside a fiery building, they just all burn down without having to fight them. If you know what I mean. But do ghosts burn? I just hit him by the axe and it died, so I think they'll burn. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't seem to like the fire that I... Yeah. Okay. So... Well, you, you got some uh, chopped up coffins, right? You can chuck in there, trying to get the <laughs> fire going. <laughs> oh. I think I'm going in there and I'm grabbing a table. While I'm putting my armor on my shield away, I'm grabbing a table and I'm throwing it at those four boys who are inside. Trying to see what happens. <laughs> All right, you can make an attack roll for that. Okay. I have proficiency with improvised. Proficiency with tables. <laughs> yeah. So that's... Uh, 16 plus 4 plus 2 is 22 with the table. Yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> it hits one of the, one of the ghosts uh, who is in the back of the group. Yes. 
And how much damage does that do? Uh, then it's table damage. Table damage. Uh, where one d four? When I'm proficient with improvise, yeah, it's a d four, I think. I'm still racing, so that does more damage. One plus four plus two is seven damage. Seven damage. With the table. Right. <laughs> so you throw a table at him. And uh, as they are uh, running into the next room, yeah, mm. you hit him in the back. Mm. And as soon as you hit him, yeah. they turn around and focus solely on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they seem to be having the idea to move to you the next round. Okay. Yeah. Well, I hate fire, so I'm not going in there. I'll stay outside and uh, wait for those, those two running guys. Uh, so I'll, I'll move in the direction that they're gonna be running back towards, and I guess I'm just gonna wait for them there. I hate fire. You so mean the two that's dead, that yeah, are running away from here? Yeah, they're gonna be coming back. I'll just wait for those because I hate fire. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna move in the general direction of the crypt, but I'm gonna keep an eye out on uh, the messy maid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'm. Uh, well, my plan was setting the building on fire with them in it. So, I'm trying to take other tables around me and putting them on fire while slowly, while moving out of the building. So, hoping to trap them in the fire. I don't know how you want to do that, but that's my plan. Yeah, you can do that. You can you can stoke up the fire. Yeah, I'm going to try to stoke up the fire while moving out of the building and blocking them in. Yeah. All right, so that's your turn. Yes. Well, then they're up, and they um, <laughs> they start walking towards you, and they get a little bit of damage from the fire. But how they many, just how many d twelve should I roll for that? How <laughs> <laughs> one d four? Yes. And they uh, they move towards you because <laughs> you are walking towards the crypt. Yeah. And you're walking after the two that's walking away, and yeah. so you're the only one still there. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna keep an eye on that guy. Uh, I'm standing like, just when outside. He, when he uh, threw a, a, a table in there, I was like, yeah. okay. Well, you can see the the, 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 the <laughs> five who went in are uh, coming out again. <laughs> him. Okay. So uh, you're gonna get some uh, some attacks. Okay. Uh, I just uh -oh. put my shield away to throw the table. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a uh, 12 to hit. That misses. Ooh, 21 hits, I think. Yes, that hits. 16. Uh, that hits. 8. That doesn't hit. Right. If so you die, you get made to uh, javelin, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a really small javelin, so... <laughs> More like a pointy stick. <laughs> What, yeah, what that was happening? They 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 roll pretty high. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, they roll thirty one uh, damage <laughs> of necrotic uh, type. Okay, <laughs> but that's, so uh, there's two of them hit, right? Yeah. Do we have a cleric? But uh, that's <laughs> half, right? Because you're raging. No, only blood's gone in piercing and slashing. Oh, you're not a bear totem. No, right. <laughs> that hurt. I'm alive. Uh, but then, uh, <laughs> so I think, yeah. if only you didn't try that coffin of yours. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm bleeding heavily. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the, 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 there was one who looked a little bit different than all the ghosts. There was the one who was uh, shouting to the other mm -hmm. man. He's also moving towards you and he also tries to attack you. Oh, but he misses with a 12, right? Oh, yes, he misses. <laughs> <laughs> well, so uh, that's their turn. Then we're uh, back up to initiative. So it's Dratas' uh, yes. yes. turn. So I'm looking at all this and I... Uh, uh, I start getting some doubts whether I should uh, actually go and, and help him with my cure wound spell, uh, which I could do. Uh, 
and I, I think uh, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> me seeing him bleeding out and me realizing how strong he is makes me reason like I need him with me to protect me. So, he, <laughs> so he's a valuable asset to me. So that reasoning sort of overrides my uh, if he dies, he dies. Your so, instinct to eat him. Yeah. And you already have two javelins. <laughs> what are you gonna yeah. do with three? So. Uh, him being so strong is an asset to me, so I decide to use my movement to get over to him. Okay. And then use my action to uh, cast a uh, cure wounds. So how are uh, you touching him? Which... Uh, <laughs> you did not just say uh, that. Uh, <laughs> 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 so I'll, uh, I'll go over him and I'll, I'll reach out with yeah. my hand and I'll, I'll touch him, I guess, and uh, try to do a heal on touch. Yeah, sure. You can uh, roll the... Uh, the things needed for a pure wounds. Is this the A1? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the eight. It's two of those, right? Uh, 1d8 plus spellcasting ability modifier. Really? Yeah. That's not a lot. Nope. <laughs> I'm not really a good healer, but it's more like a, was a worst case scenario, right? right? Okay, so uh, I, I, how I, many I, do I, do? I looked it up in one of those databases and it, it said uh, 1d8. But uh, my spell casting modifier is 21. <laughs> uh, with the modifier, so it's plus two. Yeah, so it's <laughs> it's three. You're fine. I'm fine. You got yeah. this. I got this. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna check the crap. <laughs> it's very, very rudimental first aid. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's only a flesh wound. <laughs> sure to deal. Sure to deal. That? Yeah. Small chance of success. All right, that was your turn. <laughs> yeah. uh, then uh, Fred's up. Uh, I look at them uh, with a bit of amusement, and I walk up and hit one of the specters with my axe. Uh, actually, the oh yeah, 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 yeah. The new specters, yeah. Uh, the the ones that are saying Yeah, yeah, that hits. Uh, okay. So, D12, uh, hit him four. 13. 13 damage, okay, yeah. That's your turn? Yep. All right, then it is Z's turn. A boulder. Boulder nice to meet you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, names, that's, names are not my so that's not going very well. So, uh, time for some more uh, holy fire. Uh, I will cast uh, a spiritual weapon as a large, like, flail made of fire hovers between uh, my uh, my uh, uh, friend and the specters and just tries to smack one. All right. Bong. That's pretty good. That's a 24 to hit. Oh, yes. No, that hits. Are you hitting the same one that he hit? Sure. That is six force damage. Yeah. And it stays floating out there, right. doing its thing for one minute. And that's my bonus action, so as an action I would like to cast another Sacred Flame as my holy symbol starts lighting up again. Sky opens up in radiant energy. That is a DC 14 deck save. Oh, no. It's five radiant damage. Same guy? Yep. <laughs> Same thing. He uh, screams in agony for a moment and also dissipates and disappears. Nice. So now there's only four dudes. Fred is slightly Murdering annoyed. Murdering my little buddy. Fred is a bit annoyed that his code just got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> You're annoyed at you. everything, aren't you? <laughs> annoyed at a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. continuously annoyed. Uh, that ends your turn. I will walk a little bit closer. Uh, as soon as you've done that, you hear uh, a scream. Uh, no! And you see <laughs> a lady jumping out of the window, falling onto the ground, uh, and she's dead. And as soon as that happens, all the ghosts around you start to disappear. Well, that's nice. And <laughs> the surrounding areas become quiet again. 
Do we see the body of the woman land this time? No, she or also it... disappeared. Right. She also had a, a, a greenish hue about her. Right, so <coughs> I guess now that we're out of danger, uh, I'll, I'll have the, the pouch and with the, the plants that I found in the the quarters, uh, the servants' quarters, a uh, little plot. Yeah. I'll just toss them over to him and, and say, like, take this. You know? Don't die. You're and feeding him some plants? Yeah, because uh, they had some, some medical, uh, right? Yeah, you, you could make medicine from them, but you actually uh, have to make medicine uh, from them. First. I'm uh, <laughs> taking a rest and I'm doing my hit dice. I can do that, right? That depends. Are you taking a short rest? Yes. Is, is everyone trying <laughs> to take a short rest? I want to take a short rest. I, I don't have the, the We're going to kill then. an hour at the Mansion of Doom. Do I have the necessities what? to make Well, then they're coming again when they came every hour. Maybe we should walk into the forest and take a short rest over there. That's probably smart. Get out of the Mansion of yeah. Doom and then yeah. just chill for a bit. Make a plan of not chucking tables at ghosts <laughs> anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, a good plan. Uh, while we walk out, I want to try one thing. Um, I want to try and climb up to the clock at the front gate and smash it with a rock. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, you make a uh, acrobatics check to climb up the wall, and then on top of the gate where the clock is. Nine. Oh, you you your first try. You're trying to the, the the wall is pretty easy, but then you try to climb on the the gate part, and your foot slips and you fall off. Oh. But it's not high enough to. Okay. Doesn't any, do any damage. But, uh. But you can try. Again. I try and lift him up to the. Well, oh. first I need to stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so an hour later. So I, uh, uh, the clock uh, rings again. An hour later. <laughs> I was uh, fairly amused by him falling, and uh, I'm I'm not sure I should buy into this plan, but I'll I uh, I guess I'll I'll help him with his plan. So do you lift me up or do I lift you up? I think I lift you up because uh, my strength is sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, make a, make a strength check because you're just trying to lift him. Twelve. How heavy are you? Uh, one uh, one oh six. Well, he's having a, a little bit of difficulty, but if you make an acrobatics check to uh, keep uh, standing upright, you can make it. So, uh, I think it, now, now it's uh, his there. time uh, to laugh. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, <laughs> he's trying to lift you up, but it's not going easy, and then uh, you just slip out of his footing and fall on the ground. Okay. Right. This is going to be a fun okay. hour. Okay, so <laughs> we, uh, I ask, uh, I'm, what's your name again? Uh, Bromdeer. Right, I asked Bromdeer to help us out. I'm not doing anything. I'm <laughs> licking my wounds. I'm like oh. bleeding. I'm like okay. trying to so I'm stand asking, up like a normal person. <laughs> I yeah. can't do a lot Bal of things at this moment. I'm asking Balder to... Our weight uh, is over now. How, how uh, much do you weigh? 160. Oh, uh, so w w we'll try and lift him up. I mean, you've got two <laughs> is he, spines. Is he so Can you not just smack it with your spine? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that. That's <laughs> yeah, about six feet up in the air. In what context do you get the sentence, you've got no, two spines? <laughs> Can't you just smack it with your spine? 14 feet up in the air. Oh, well. So you have to throw That's it. Like, uh, yeah. Uh, like well, what is the clock attached to? Like a stone wall or something? Or no, it's a it's a metal uh, it's the metal part of the gate. Okay. Do we have a rope? Yeah. Okay. Can yeah. we take the rope and just try and all four just try and lasso the clock and all four of us just pull it down? I'm gonna be honest. If I'm pulling on that rope, I'm probably uh, making it worse, not helping at all. Oh. <laughs> I am not that strong. <laughs> I'm strong. But you're bleeding. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. I'm trying not to die right now. That's, okay, that's... so we 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 I'm take the rope. There. We we lasso the clock, uh, and then you're gonna cl try and climb up it. All right. Well, I will, I will uh, uh, pat um, uh, 
Dratos on the back and say, good luck, buddy, as I cast <laughs> Guidance on him. <laughs> ah, nice. You can make a uh, lasso check then. It's, uh, do? it's like, is that a performance check? A lasso check? check? But you make it, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. that's high enough. You uh, lasso, there's a, like a pointy bit above the gate. You lasso around the pointy bit. And then just climb like that? Yeah. And oh. just because we've laughed enough, I'm not going to say that the thing just bends through. <laughs> it's strong enough to hold you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. And you climb up. And, uh, so if, I re if I grab the, the clock, is it detachable? No, 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 no it's, it's, it's been welded into the gate. Yeah. Okay, so I, so. I, I toss a um, like decent sized rock up to him um, so he can use it to smash the clock. Yeah, sure, make a dex check to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> you can add a d4. Well, I, I throw so it, I, if change. I throw it underhand, does he get an advantage on I'm, catching I'm gonna it? follow my ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's falling down again. <laughs> you try to, to catch the rock with one hand, but your own weight is too much for your other hand, and you slip down a couple of uh, feet. Wow. But you're still hanging on the rope. You got a bit, a bit of rope burn in your hand now. Really making my lizard folk proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is taking about an hour, right? <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, then I'm resting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're just chilling. Yeah, he's, he's just been sitting on his ass next to us. So he's already resting. Oh, it was an hour. Then I'm resting. But you continue what you're doing. Yeah. I'm just sitting here. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm still hanging there, right? So. Is he hanging low enough so that I can sort of push him up a bit again? Yeah, you can reach his, his feet. Okay, so I, I push him up a bit again to help him back up. Yeah, you can, you can climb up again and you're... Uh, Face first with the clock again, the, your arch so. nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll just. Okay, uh, I'll him. Shot. Just use the spine to smash it. Uh, well, I, it, it, the spine is more like a sticky thing, so I, I'm better off just using my bare fist and smacking through the glass and, and r ripping off the pointy pointers. Yeah, you can do that. Pointers. Just attack the clock. Yeah. <laughs> Time attack. Yeah, that hits. Alright, so I'll just smash through the glass and rip out the pointers. So yeah. that's just the bare bones uh, number plate at the back uh, left. The hands of the clock are yeah. gone. Yeah. So uh, I guess I'll, I'll just uh, ask ask Fred, like, uh, what do we do now? Is, the, is, the, you know, is it destroyed enough? <laughs> uh, I just look up and shrug. Yeah, this took about 20 minutes, so. Okay. <clears throat> Right, so we're glad we're done and I, I get down, I guess. I don't know if it has done anything, but I am satisfied with <laughs> the destruction of the clock. Fred is satisfied. <laughs> right, right. Nice. Well, we'll see if that had any use, I doubt it. But... Right. So what do you want to do now? Short rest? Um, well, I'm not short resting here. Yeah, okay. let's head out. And then let's head out and yeah. short rest in well, the forest. While he is resting the forest, I, I can I look around the forest, see if I can find any... Uh, Plant life, animal life. In the meantime, the oh, I, I'll, I'll do the same because uh, can I check for uh, like animal tracks with survival? Yeah, while they are doing that, you can uh, take a short rest in the on the path in the forest. I will join the right. short rest. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And you can uh, check for tracks if you want to make a survival check. Yeah. And uh, you can make a nature check if you want to find plants and stuff. Right. I have proficiency on that, but I don't have that. Is plus three? No, this is your yeah, proficiency. Uh, plus plus two, okay. A bit more healthy right now. So, uh, 14. I can make the ghosts go away uh, one more eight. time. <laughs> Zero. Thinking so. 10. Um, I'm starting to wear my shield all the no time. Now. <laughs> and probably as well. you are checking for At life signs, you, you also notice that into the you don't hear any life signs. There. there are no birds, yeah. there are no insects. Maybe. There's okay. nothing living here. Uh, same goes for the plants. Uh, it's your basic plants. None of it is food. None of it is uh, medicinal. It's Upon not. Uh, no. Nothing. Right. It's not Upon angry. realizing that there's no sound, a shiver goes down my spine. And then you hear a shiver to go down your spine. Can I <laughs> try during the short rest to uh, t 
take the medicinal herbs and make some medicine out of it. I if am you actually are trained in medicine. Yeah, sure. You can uh, take that hour. <clears throat> you can make a medicine check to see if it works. Twenty-one. Oh yes, you can make a. Uh, you can make some medicine out from it. It's uh, it's not a lot because most of the plants were dried up. But mm -hmm. you can make a a, a a health potion. That's that's two d four. Nice. I will give it to you. Yeah, you seem to need it more than most. <laughs> I'm using it already. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Nice. So. Now also, before your short rest ended, it, it still ends and it works, but before it ended, you hear the bell ring once again. And we're outside you're, now, right? We're outside of the, the manor, outside of the gates, but you can still hear uh, uh, men screaming, uh, wood breaking, oh, yes. which is happening at the moment. Uh, so do we meet up uh, all yeah. four of us again? We just get back to where we left them, I guess. Are we going back into the same manner, or walk? Are we going to walk straight for another five hours to get into a new manner that looks like this? Honestly, I don't feel like walking another five hours to get into the same manner well, again. This manner is on fire as well, right? The second one. Yeah, we, can, we can help. check if it's been mm. repaired or not. So, how far do we have to walk until we're out of render distance? From the manor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have one hour to just run. I have tiny legs. I'm not gonna make it. Now this game only has one level. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we're walking back right then. So well, maybe we should have like the the bell. We just heard the bell, right? Well, the bell rang before your short rest ended, yeah. so it's rung about ten minutes ago. Okay, so we have around fifty minutes before those guys go in there. What is our plan? I would like to go into the crypt with the five dudes, with one of them who seems to be the leader, see what they're doing there, and follow them into the building to see what they're actually doing in there once they get yeah. there. Well, we know they ignore us as long as we don't throw tables at them or try to hit them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that might be a good idea to just look what they're doing. Because they're essentially like replaying their actions, right? Yeah. So maybe we just wait there and see what they actually do inside. Because the woman falls off the top floor, right? The third floor? Third floor, yeah. So we just go in there. Maybe someone posted at the second floor and at the third floor. And then we just see how it happens. How she gets tossed out or if she yeah. jumps or whatever. So let's take it easy. Piece, this time. piece the, the story together. Yeah. Um, is the groundskeeper back building our cars. are you you're already walking back i'm assuming we're talking about this yeah. when we go back right yeah right. because you you exited at the front gate so you're entering at the front gate again okay uh, oh, right. as you enter the, the the grounds you can see that the ghosts that were in front are already inside so they've broken down the door mm -hmm. and the as door. you <laughs> as you walk uh past uh, towards the back of the house you can see that that door has already been broken in as well. Yeah. And that uh, the man who seems to be in charge and the other men uh, are already on their way towards the dining hall. Yeah, so I guess we just wait until this this is over and then we'll just post up for the next one. Yeah. Yeah. So when you look into the graveyard, you don't see uh, Vincul there. Mm. Now we can look into the servant quarters. Maybe he's hanging them himself right there right now. Yeah. Or he comes. <laughs> I think he he was hiding there when this all was happening. Yeah, he said something. Yeah, that, that's why I think. Yeah, he's just looking, looking there right now. Yeah. As you uh, near the servant's house, you can hear sobbing from, coming from inside. I'm going inside. Don't you throw a chair at him. <laughs> I'm not throwing a chair at him. Yeah. Not yet. Before <laughs> we go, do we have anything to drink? Yeah, break time. Uh, no, I just yeah. want to grab drink. All right. Yeah, well, I can just cut this and just okay. break time. Cut. Break Cut. Time. And we're back. Oh, we're back. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fight of the century. 
Wait, again, what? And again, Fight. and again, and again. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you so you just saw the boss guy and his men walk towards the house, walk into the house. Yeah. And you are deciding what to do now. Yeah, we were walking in right in the right. Yeah. Yeah, we servant's were house, and this guy was sobbing right, and I right. was walking inside. Yeah. And I promised him not to smash him with the table directly. Well, I said chair. There's tables I didn't say. <laughs> okay, with well, the chair. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm walking in there, and the guy is sobbing. Does he uh, acknowledge me? No, he doesn't notice you. Should I talk to him? Yes. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> I'm saying, hello. How are you? I'm, I'm trying to, without touching him, I'm trying to get his attention. He just keeps sobbing. sobbing. Okay, I'm trying to grab him. I like the idea of this <laughs> giant barbarian in spiked armor trying to like... <laughs> I'm a dwarf. <laughs> I'm like small. A, 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 dwarf, a dwarf barbarian in spiked <laughs> armor trying to. I mean, hedgehogs are cute. <laughs> as soon as you try to grab him, he I'm doing something like this. I think. Yeah, that's the. Uh, I Google. Yeah, that's not cute. But, <laughs> but he disappears again. Yeah. What? He disappears as soon as you try to grab him. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> is he hanging there as well immediately or and his body is still hanging there yeah but it was subbing next to his hanging body yeah this is fucked up man okay yeah yeah i, I don't know what to do i'm walking back and say can't do shit <laughs> is, he, is the groundskeeper now in the cemetery perchance no okay. is the, has the woman already jumped out of the tower no Let's wait for the woman. You can see that. Like that's, yeah. Yeah, that, that's the trigger. Yeah. So you're gonna just sit in the backyard? Yeah. Just yeah. waiting this fucked up show. Right. <laughs> well, you can hear uh, talking inside the manor. Uh, you can hear shouting inside the manor. And can then, we try to eavesdrop it? Uh, well, you would have to walk into the manor if you want to do that. No. Well, what let's, if we let's let's wait until the next time and then we just move with them, just follow yeah. the whole. Yeah. Thing. We probably need to save the woman. Or murder her before they can. <laughs> <laughs> what if I burn the house down before everything starts? Well, just when the clock dings, they come bring in and it burns all the everything. <laughs> Dude, maybe they walk in the air up the stairs, so they also ignored the open doors. So. That's true, yeah. Yeah. That then we could works. see everything. So that's, what <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Do we see anything of the house? Well, we set it on fire in the previous fight. Do is there still fire damage? Is it been returned to the old stand? And it's uh, it looks the way it did the first time you laid okay. eyes upon it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And as you are waiting in the in the backyard, uh, a woman screams, "No!" Well, <coughs> no! <laughs> as she jumps out of the third floor level of the house and okay. ends dead on the ground. Oh, she actually she's actually on the ground this time. Yeah, yeah. She lands on the ground, and then after a short while, she also dissipates, oh. and everything goes quiet again. D just the. Uh the, the the coffin guy is he there again now after a couple of minutes you can see uh Vinkul, right yeah that's yeah. what i mean uh walk out of his servant's house Vinkul. and uh, walk towards the graveyard to make some new coffins oh let's let's talk him let's try this uh, i'm not doing the talking uh, excuse me, uh, Finkel? Yes? I have a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. About? Um, well, the past. Uh, I have a feeling something terrible happened in this house, and I'm wondering if you have any information about that. The house was attacked. By whom? I don't know. Men. They came in. Killed my master. Do you have any idea why they might kill your master? None at all. 
Who is your master? Valentine. Valentine Grimm. Valentine Grimm. But you also the Bertolt Valentine, right? That is the kid's grave, who, which has not been filled. <coughs> The, the grave is, is a kid size, right? And the, the woman jumping out of it is obviously too large for a grave. Yeah. yeah. Right. But blood thickens. Yeah. Can I describe a mother. the woman to Finn Kuhl and ask if he knows who this person that I described might be? Uh, you can try, yeah. Uh, but as you describe her, <coughs> his eyes... Um, he starts looking towards the ground and uh, you can see that he's thinking and there are not happy thoughts, but he remains quiet. Do, do we have any way to extract information out of him without him, like, you know? Despairing? No, we don't. <laughs> Um, as you are standing there, he uh, walks towards the, the, the open grave. Only he passes by it and he looks to the grave right next to it. And he starts looking at that grave with sorrow in his eyes. What name is on the grave? Oleander. Oleander Grimm. So we have a Bertolt Valentine. That's the kid's grave. Yeah. Yeah, that's the Bertolt grave. Valentine. Yeah. And then we, have, then we have Valentine Grimm is his master, and here is an <laughs> Oleander Grimm. Yes. I mean, it's Bertolt, oh. uh, son of uh, Valentine. And Leander Grimm and Valentine Grimm are married. Yeah. Couple manner. Can we ask his name? What is your name? His ask name him was to the Yeah, cool. my name is uh, Finn Cool. Yeah. Do you have a, a, a surname? A family no, name? Just Finn Cool. Oh, I thought Cool was his surname. <laughs> no, it's Finn Cool. Uh, I'm just a groundskeeper. Okay. Is this the grave of the lady I described? This is Lady Oleander. Right, so we have a name. This is where I buried her. Why is Bertolt's grave empty? Why has it already been dug? He looks at the grave, but he does not answer you. Does anybody want to go digging? Yeah, I want to go digging. I'm frustrated I can't tax him because then he disappears. I want to do something. Go dig in the grave. I'm taking uh, my my shield and I'm trying to dig with my shield because I have no shovel and I think that's the most efficient way to dig what are you digging exactly? the women grave Oleander's grave yes All right well you have to um, there's because there's a, a gravestone over it so you'll have to either push that away or break it first I'm pushing that away sure I'm going to pat that. him on the back and say you got this Eddie got yeah. guidance you can add a d4 uh, if you want to. It's just a strength to, uh, check to try Must and push I it away. say now the d4? Or? When you see the roll, but before he sees if it's succeeded or not. So if you roll very well, you can say, uh, I don't have to use a d4. <laughs> <laughs> I really need a d4 to be a 4. I don't think it will help. I think it will help. Well, it's a strong boy. 6 plus 6 is 12. Oh, okay. No, it, it takes a while. <laughs> you're, you're, it's because um, it's been uh, grown over by some uh, vines, so it's it's a little bit stuck. So you have to push a little bit harder, and it takes a little bit longer. But eventually, uh, it starts to move, and you can push it away. Okay. And um, it's a stone chamber. So as soon as you remove the lid, yes. you uh, see a coffin. So you don't have to dig around uh, through the dirt. But it's a it's a closed coffin you see there. Okay. A closed coffin. Well, I'm going to open the coffin. I put an X between it so to open the lid. Yeah, that's that's really easy. It's old wood. It's been there okay. a while. Uh, mm -hmm. And as you open it, you see 
the the body you can't see if there was a man or a woman but uh, the body is dressed in uh, female garments okay. Any, anything does, worth looting does it have any resemblance to the yeah, girl dripping out of the window you can see that after seeing her fall out of the window several times <laughs> <laughs> even though you can't tell if the color is the same the clothes she is wearing matches okay i think we found the women and as soon as you say that you are here no <laughs> and uh she jumps out of the window again and lands in the backyard okay. it happens again but without the men attacking no, the men were, they already passed you and went into the house. Yeah, but, but she, she already, already fell, fell. I thought. And then the groundskeeper left. All mm. right. No, I'm, I'm confused. That hasn't started yet. No, nope, my bad. Sorry, that didn't happen. Okay, okay. okay, yeah. okay, okay. Just checking if she just yes. randomly falls twice or not. Groundhog day, man. It messes <laughs> with your mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, sorry. No, uh, it's not happening. So you can okay. keep on going without my interruption. Okay, I think we should prepare a tactic what we are going to do yeah. for the... We can... Uh, I, f I feel like there are multiple points of interest. The crypt, what's happening there. Uh, following the soldiers and seeing what happens with the lady in the, at the third yeah, floor. And you have, like, we can uh, station in one person everywhere or we can do this together, go to each location but there, there's a after a few hours a grave for Oleander, which I guess is the mother and a child's grave. But there has to be a father. There has to be a master, right? and both the child and the master yeah. we haven't seen yet. Can we can we find a, a gravestone with a Valentine grin on there? No, you oh. don't see uh, you don't see any gravestones. Uh, you do, however, see the large crypt, which has the Valentine name over it. Yeah, the family crypt. Can we, we go can check in the crypt? Yeah, the, the gate has been broken open. It's, a, it's a, an iron gate. <coughs> and it's been broken open in, so you can just enter if you want. I will... Uh, I'll, I'll stay outside. Cast the light. Yes. So I'll follow see the inside. The As you do that, you can actually see where you're going. I have dark vision, but... <laughs> <laughs> How big is the crypt? Does it go, like, underground? Uh, you'll have to go in to find out. I'm going in. I'm really frustrated that I'm not getting out of here. So He's I'm continuously <laughs> annoyed. You're continuously <laughs> frustrated. Uh, you're continuously eating. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to hold everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're the glue that keeps it together. Yeah. I'm going to stay outside uh, at the exit. Just keeping an eye out. I don't want to go underground. Yeah. And you were also staying outside. No, no, no. I'm fine. All right. Okay. So you three go in. Uh, it's not that deep. It, uh, it, it's like a spiral staircase and it goes down, I think, two floors. And it ends in a reasonably large room without only one coffin, which is placed in the center of the room. Uh, I'm assuming you walk towards it. The, the coffin is open. And, and inside you see uh, burn marks. Uh, so the, the the coffin has been burned, and other than that, the room is empty. Oh. Can we try to open the coffin? No, the, the coffin, the lid is open, so you, oh, you can see inside. The lid is it. open and yeah. inside is burned. Yeah, it's, so it's the empty. body is burned. No, the the body isn't there, but the coffin has burn marks inside of it, outside of it. Yeah, just all around. It, 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 it. So I can assume that the body is burned. Well, yeah. I am assuming the body is uh, burned. I, I don't know anything, but I'm assuming that. You can make an inside check to see My if you actually assume it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I am assuming it, but I don't know if it's true. I'm on the inside for knowing if it's true. Uh, that is 12. Yeah, you, you can reasonably assume that uh, the body was burned. And as for the ashes, you do see yeah. ashes, but you can't distinguish between wood or body because the, yeah. the wooden coffin also burned down in certain parts. Yeah. I sent I'd you a personal question. Ah. I don't want to... Yeah. Say it out loud in front of everyone. I like that. If, if the question is no, then... No, I, I'd say because you've been adventuring for a while, I say yes, yeah. Okay. So... 
could this person that they have burned after attacking a manor which they yelled that evil needs to die may have been a vampire? Coffin. Person being burned inside of it. Why is something being burned inside a coffin? Like, are they just gonna burn a dead body? No, because he said that his master was killed. Ah. And if it is the master, it makes sense why he isn't. Oh, no, that makes, makes sense it. why it was during the yeah. day as well. Because then he was sleeping yeah. in the crypt. Why would you be sleeping in a crypt in a coffin if you're not a vampire? Well, I don't know. Probably also, no. there's one grave who's not filled, so maybe there's a vampire in there. Uh, hopefully a baby vampire. <laughs> <laughs> should, we... <laughs> should we check, like, the attic of the mansion? Well, but we could still have a plan, because those... Guys, it's just what we're we're playing, right? Yeah. As in, we can just ignore them and then they don't interact with us. Yeah, pretty much. The question should be: Should we stay together? Yes or no? I think yes, because there might be a vampire. Yeah. So what is our plan then? So we go to the crypt, and then with the last, so the leader was with the guys who go to the crypt. Yeah. Maybe we should follow that. I think I think follow, the just follow the leader. Seeing if they indeed are burning a, a live person in there, yeah. I think that is that's maybe good idea. information. Okay. Yeah. Do we want to check the building before the bell tolls, like the first and second floor? Is that any? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. And then, uh, the, uh, how much time do we think we have until the bell? Goes? I was just about to ask, are you keeping track of time? Because well, I'm, I, I'm trying, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> you can. Uh, Does our ranger perhaps know? How I much was time outside the whole time, right? So I, I could have. Seen yeah. And seen Plus, the time. you're you're seeing the sun move across yeah. the sky. Uh, so you can make a that's uh, let's say a nature check because you're seeing the. When the bell tolls and the, st the where the sun is. Right. Uh, Eleven. I guess nature. Yeah, that's zero and that's, oh, yeah. yeah. Let's that's do eleven. Right. No, nature is. Oh, intellect. Huh. Yeah. yeah. So I have nature and then zero and then plus two. So. Yeah. 11. You think that the the, the, the clock uh, rings between yeah. that and it's plus two as well. So you have thirty, I think, because you. That's a plus two. Oh no, 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 no it's, it's, zero, right, it's zero, yeah, it's You think so that it rings every between 45 minutes and an hour and 50 minutes, somewhere in that time frame uh, the bell rings and you've been walking around now for about 35 minutes, checking out the crypt, talking to Vinku. Right, so when they come up I, I tell them uh, the, that we have like 10 minutes at the minimum. Uh, because then the 45 minutes will have passed, so it, then it's... I think we need as well five minutes to tell them what happened downstairs and what yeah. we think. Yeah. Shall we, shall we wait at the crypt and then check out the house after? Yeah. Just wait and we'll follow the yeah. big guys, yeah. I yeah. think. And right. do not touch them. So I, I'll agree with the plan as soon as I hear it. Okay. <laughs> so you are waiting at the crypt. Okay. I think I'm waiting downstairs. <coughs> Just... Mm. Yeah. yeah, just waiting upstairs. All right. Mm -hmm. As you're waiting, uh, and time passes, you once again hear the bell ring once, and the show starts again. Uh, the ones who are outside of the graveyard can see that at the back gate there are now uh, what is it? Nine. eight uh, ghostly figures coming towards uh, the house. Well. Three of those are coming towards the dining hall doors, and uh, the leader type and four others are moving towards the crypt. And I'm assuming you're just gonna, because they're moving towards the crypt, you're going to, just gonna let them be. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, well, I'm, we're going to follow them, right? We're going to stay yeah. together and follow them. Yeah. We'll, we'll take extra care not to touch them. To yeah, don't, don't the trip way. and accidentally touch them. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to hide somewhere inside the crib. Like, just not, not like hide, hide, but just stay with my back against the wall so I don't might accidentally hit them. Yeah, accidentally. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. As they approach the crypt, they um, uh, start to break open the door. Because even though the door is open, they're trying yeah. to break open the door. And you, you can hear the clinging and clanking of them trying to break the metal or bend the metal. And then eventually, after a minute or two, they manage to break open the door. And they rush in down to the crypt. And I'm assuming you're following him, them? Mm. Yeah. All yeah. Right. Uh, as soon as you, as soon as they uh, reach downstairs, oh, it switched. Spannend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real exciting. Ooh. You hear ghostly noises. <laughs> they uh, come into the crypt, and uh, once again, you're seeing a an open lid. The coffin is open, it's been burned, but they are making motions as to open the lid uh, and then you see the, 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 the leader type uh, grab a stake and a hammer <coughs> and jam it into the coffin. You don't see a body of whoever he's jamming it into, but you can assume there is a body. And then uh, several other of his men uh, burn the body, or at least they're burning something yeah. and then um, you hear a, a, a scream coming from the coffin uh, screaming Oleander and then the, the burning dies out and then you hear the boss man say may you continue to burn in hell come and he runs back up to the stairs and his men are following him okay let's I'm moving out of the way <laughs> Let's follow. They seem to uh, okay. not notice you. Okay. Then follow them inside yeah. the, the the house, man. All right. They're uh, moving towards the dining hall. Um, I feel like the vampire theorem. The, the vampire, the vampire uh, theorem is very real right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cannot deny that. <laughs> so you're still following them? Yes. Yeah, totally. Right. He enters the the dining hall, and through the dining hall, he moves into the foyer. So where the front door is, and he meets up with the rest of his men. So there are now around 13 guys, right? There are no, there are several. There, there, there's, a, there's a big group. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear the man uh, shout Oleander's name. And uh, are you moving into the foyer? Foyer. Well, I'm. If I can not touch them, uh, well, I. Uh, I, I would like to it get is, as it close to them to so to eavesdrop of what they're saying and what they're doing. Yeah, you can do that, but it is a tight fit, so you might just want to stay outside then. Can I still hear them? Yeah, you you can you can hear them. If uh, if nobody's going in, you can hear uh, a soft voice say, "Father," and um, <clears throat> then you uh, hear that soft voice. Um, not so much scream, but uh, like, like moan, yeah. like like she's being grabbed. And then uh, you see uh, the, the the boss man, yeah. Uh, boss man, boss man. yeah, uh, walk up the or uh, walk towards the corner, and you you hear footsteps running up uh, stairs. And the rest of the men are uh, some of the men are walking after him, and some are staying down in the. Can I try and follow them up the stairs? Yeah, there's enough uh, room you can just walk past them and you can walk uh, up the stairs if you want. Okay. You following? Yeah, I'm following. Yeah. You saved my life, so I'm <laughs> following. You're all following? Yeah. All right, he uh, walks all the way up to the third floor. The, uh, the woman who said father uh, was there. And um, as he sees her, uh, they, you, you see that he is happy to have found her, but at some point his happiness uh, turns around to, to anger. As in he found something out that he didn't want to know. And then he and you all hear 
uh, a baby cry somewhere in the house. Mm. And he tells his men to uh, take his daughter and keep her safe in a room as he tries to find where the noises came from. Are you going to follow her or him? I will follow him. All right. Does anybody want to follow her? So we uh, have I will eyes. follow her to see what... Uh, and I'll uh, go with him. Sure. He walks towards uh, a, a corner on the third floor and um, uh, near the what seems to be a, a spiral staircase where it ends. He uh, apparently sees something in the wall and he tries to open it, but he is unsuccessful. He's getting uh, madder and madder about it. And then he tells his men to apparently jam something under the door. And even though you can't see what they're jamming, you in, 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 in real time, you see that there are a lot of pins jammed under uh, a wall. And then uh, he seems to be casting a spell on that wall. And as soon as he's done with that, he starts walking back towards you. So I'm assuming you all quickly get out of the way because <laughs> it's a small <laughs> corridor. And he walks towards uh, where his men are holding the woman. And uh, as he enters the room, uh, he has a conversation with her and she is mad, furious. And can we hear it? What they're saying? Yeah, she's uh, or he is saying, uh, like he's, he's mad at that. I can't believe that you did this. Uh, how did you? Why did you abandon me? Just a lot of angry talk. And at some point, she's uh, looking out the window because it's a it's a conservatory like room. So there's a there's a dome made of mm -hmm. glass, and oh, she can oh, see. Sorry. Observatory, yeah, right, that one. Uh, and she sees smoke coming uh, from the crypt. Yeah. And uh, a moment later, she, in anger, she sh shouts something, something long, so bear with me. <clears throat> I'm going to use a female voice now. No, love it! No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> no. She <laughs> shouts. No love have you known in your life, Father. Not for my mother, not for me. Not even for your God have you known love. But for only the esteem of men you have ever given thought. May your God look down on you now and know that you are a ruiner of love and vanquisher of light and beauty. Long have you worked and pined to bring into this world the token of a love that you have murdered. Never again may you know anything but the hour in which you found the bottom of your rotten soul. Not until I am returned my own heart's desire. May your gods forsake you all. And then she hurls herself out the window. Okay. And moments after that, you see the men screaming even. You, you don't hear, necessarily hear the screams, but you can feel them in pain. I mean, normally when you saw them dissipate, they just disappeared. But here they are actually in pain. And they disappear. Okay. So well, we have one hour. <laughs> <laughs> there was uh, the, the, just something about returning. Yeah. She, yeah it sounded like like she casted a curse. Yeah. It sounded yeah. like it's a curse. Like you have to relive this hour in which you found your so, love. Yeah, but until... I am returned my own love's desire or something like that. Her mm. own love. Yeah. The, the child. Well, I guess that the, the boss man is the, the father of... Oleander is the yeah. one. You clearly heard her say father. Yeah. yeah. Several so, times. Yeah. yeah. Oleander is the daughter of this guy and, and not. I and Oleander is the wife of the, the vampire. vampire. Yeah. So there's a half vampire. Oh, right. You That's guys the, weren't there. The, there's a half vampire hidden behind a wall with a spell and some uh, barrications. Okay. <laughs> but she was. Uh, she said something about returning to her. Uh, so I think is, is the wall with spikes uh, made out of wood. Yeah, yeah. I grab my axe and walk towards the wall. <laughs> Let's talk about it. There's maybe a living vampire behind there. You might have, might want to plan. I, I hesitate. Might want to plan. <laughs> I hesitate. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. 
So, well, if we do this wrong, we're probably stuck here for eternity, which sucks. Which because sure. we have no food, it's gonna be seven days. So. <laughs> yes. Well, we need to, we need to find a way to break the endless cycle. Too. Yeah. So yeah. either we get maybe the 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 baby is dead, and then we bury it with the mother and hope that she's happy. Uh, hmm. If that doesn't work, well, we're shit out of the luck. If the baby is alive, then we either try and talk to it and hope that they will make us dead, or we, <laughs> or we kill it. And then we go with plan A that we bury it with the with with the mother. Yeah, bury it with the mother, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can return the. Do Do we have any prior knowledge on vampires? About what they. I think they we have average them. adventuring knowledge, as he said. Yeah, no, he yeah. has dealt with uh, vampires before, or at least read about them. Yeah. But vampires are also common knowledge for most people. Even yeah. children are get raised with stories. Yeah, we, we know the stories, but yeah. I have an idea because I think I think she said her own love needs to be returned to her, yeah. and that could also be the vampire. Yeah, I think it that means the vampire. Maybe if we put we her it? body in the coffin, that they are both. Buried yeah, in the same grave. I was also thinking something like burying her with the vampire, maybe the child as well, just all in the crypt. Yeah. Like, let's let's try it with the Why with the we? body of the um, of the woman of the woman and then put the it in body the of the woman in the graveyard. Outside. In the graveyard, yeah. he didn't eat it yet, so we can still. Yeah. Just... <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. That's nice. <laughs> yep. Let's try that and see if it's still going, and yeah. then open up the wall. Yeah. Because is is it actually a door or was it like a hidden? It's a uh, you couldn't see it for the f except for the fact that they were jamming nails under it. Other than yeah. that, you would think that's a normal so wall. It's like a secret doorway, it seems. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to the the graveyard. Is the graveyard still? Are you like uh, we left it? So you, but you were in, uh, on the third floor, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. What? what? Yeah, well, is it? Is it like we left it, or is it restored to the old? Yeah. Uh, Vin Cool is at the graveyard building coffins once again. Okay. And the, is the do I somewhere to get to the women gra to the woman's grave? Do I still need to push the gravestone away? Yeah, it's been okay. Made. I'm going to do that again. Are you there alone? I'm probably following. Yeah, yeah, me too. yeah I guess all of this. Okay, I will do the strength. I will guide you. Okay. Good luck, buddy. I don't need your guidance this time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will push the stone away and yep. open the thing again and then we take the whole coffin or do we just take the body to the crypt what's the plan now the, the coffin taking the coffin seems a bit neater okay let's take the coffin then okay, think, so does so someone want to help me carry it well i can carry it on my own no, I'm good, thanks. i'll uh, help carrying okay it. i think uh me and Fred carry the, the body down to the crypt in the coffin yeah. and then uh, we put the body inside the the other coffin of the, the burnt coffin okay we do that is but there a lid of the original coffin of the yeah burnt coffin? it's been burned there's bits and pieces missing but you can still close it on <clears throat> we put that on it nothing noticeable seems to happen I okay. guess we wait and see if the bell tolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, maybe we should also... Well, I think we have some minutes left to make a plan for what we do with the bell tolls now. Maybe we can also... What What if we kill the guys before they destroy the vampire? Maybe we then can we... Uh, when it already happened, right? Like yeah, we, but, but what, what if we just... If we kill everyone before they kill someone, but well, we were in a 
in a fight with the captain dude. Yeah, but then they already killed the vampire. Yeah, but the the lady also also still jumped. Yeah. So that lady still jumped while we're in the fight. So yeah. yeah, that's true. I think the daughter is the best option. Right? Yeah, I think so. If this doesn't work, I think we need to no. open that. Okay. Open that place up. But do we want to open it now, or do we want to open it after the next? I mean, cycle? if this works, I'm good. Let's go find a bar, or get some drinks, and smoke yes, the place. yes, yes. I really <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, anybody got anybody? So, anybody got some cards? Too. Well, yes, I That's got. I really got some to cards. Pass the time. <laughs> <laughs> I got some cards. I'm even proficient with my card set. So. You wanna, you wanna oh, try and earn those five gold pieces back? I, 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 w- I would like to try. What game do you want to play? Yes, I would like. A Quidditch. Game. What? I would like a card what? game. A card game. I'm very what? knowledgeable about hmm? the D and D card game. So <laughs> yes, I would like to play. From one. Witcher. <laughs> Gwent. 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 What's Quidditch? Uh, Harry Potter. Gwent. Oh yeah. What we can play Gwent with a normal card. So you're gonna. Have we so can now uh, play uh, Farmer's Bridge. I don't know if uh, Boer Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> but, then, uh, but you're sitting in the crypt playing card games. No, we're oh. sitting in the graveyard or in the right. Okay. In the, in the we, little, we, we, we've, we've turned over <laughs> our own coffins and we're playing cards on top of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Better make use of them. Okay, yeah. I'm going to throw my. Uh, performance to try and beat you okay. in the card game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I am great at performance, so this is gonna be. Easy. I want to guide win. myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I still have your guidance, right? Or does that? Oh, when I cast guidance on myself, yours dissipates. Uh, that's, that's sad. <laughs> well, I'm trying. Uh-oh. I hope that God helps oh, me wow. here. Well, well that's you... an 18. Well, if you threw two once, you would still have equal me. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yes, you get another five gold. Of well, one. that's yeah. just the first round. I mean, you can't win five gold with just one game, right? So while you're waiting on the or next nothing. round, of, uh, <laughs> you're just... ten golds on the next round. Wow, he's broke. I'm doing a. We'll guide uh, myself I, I'm doing a slide cheaper. of hand to, <laughs> to, to, to deal the cards in my favor. All right. Well, first slide of hand then. That's a 17. Which means uh, you pose with a perception check to see if he to see if you saw him cheat. Okay. I will not use guidance there because I'm not phys- no, actively, you, actively no, you don't know what he's doing. doing. I will not see him cheat. You successfully <coughs> cheat with your deck. <laughs> okay. And then uh, we do the performance again. Do I get advantage for it, or what do I get out of my? Uh, no, I mean uh, it's it's better if you just tell me the card you got, because you know you cheated. You gave yourself the card you wanted, so and you succeeded in that. So I'm assuming you just win this ra- uh, hand. Yes, yes. Because you successfully cheated. Nice. Ah oh, shit! Well, here you go, buddy. Nice. No, thanks, thanks. I, I think we're even here, right? Yeah, we're even. You want another round? And the bell toll. Uh, <laughs> saved by the bell. <laughs> by the bell. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm back on one. <laughs> uh, yeah, you see the same thing happening again. Uh, eight guys at the back gates. Shit, not saved by the bell. We didn't want this to happen. Right. No. With yeah. the father. Sad. And uh, three of them are running to the dining hall. The others are running to the crypt. I'm following inside the crypt to see if the woman's body, which we buried there, is still there. Or if it, or is it already... You can... Uh, well, actually, you don't have to do that because uh, you're in the graveyard. And you can see that the grave has been remade. The Instantly when the bell is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, fuck. <laughs> I, guess, uh, I guess we're gonna find that baby. Do we want yeah. to find it now or do we want to wait after the event? Let's wait until we yeah. can just do everything we want without accidentally hitting a specter and getting murdered by them. Yeah. Yeah, so you just gotta play cards while the whole thing. Well then! That's what I would do, yeah. I, I guess we are. Alright, so uh, the men come out of the crypt again, they walk towards the house. You hear some screaming, you hear some talking, and then at some point you see, you hear 
the breaking of glass and a beautiful woman jumping mm. down. I'm trying to catch her. <coughs> <laughs> All right, so you're standing below her. Yeah, yes, I'm trying to catch her. Yeah, so you, you've positioned yourself perfectly because you've seen her fall like four <laughs> times already. And she just falls completely through your arms and hits the ground. Okay. Brutal. And well, maybe with that, she yeah. dissipates again. Okay. That's our cue. Okay. Yeah. Then we let's, go let's to go the discover a baby. Yes. Because so it was the second floor, the... it was right. Nope. I was the third floor, I think. Uh, you saw him jamming a wall on the third floor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're entering five via the dining hall. I've got my axe. Okay, so that's. Uh... Oh, as soon as you enter the dining hall. Uh, Oleander appears as in her ghostly form, uh, seeming to search for something uh, and screaming, Where's my baby? Where's my baby? She doesn't notice you, but she's just walking around the room screaming that while looking. Okay. And if you just let her do that, then at some point she'll glide through a wall and you'll hear her on the other side of that wall. Okay. I think we'll the baby's not in the dining hall. Well, we knew that already. Yeah. So, well, you've already been in the house, so you know where to go. Yeah. Right. So we all uh, walk uh, upstairs toward yep. the yeah. Yeah. secret wall. Yeah. Um, Mind uh, getting rid of those uh, those pegs in the <laughs> in the wall? Uh, I thought there were steel nails. Are the nails? No, the <coughs> um, because the man couldn't open the wall, uh, he decided to jam like uh, liggen. Mm -hmm. Underneath the wall to keep uh, it shut. Yeah. Is the wall made of wood? The wall is made of wood, and you can make a strength check uh, if you want to break it open or an in, uh, intelligence check. I no, I'm uh, using a strength check. I will. I will. <laughs> so I have good luck, axe. buddy, and give him guidance. To I do what I do best, and I start. Sure. I start chopping. Well, what skill is that? Strength. Strength, oh, it was uh, 19. 19, yeah. You uh, aim at the sides of the wall where there's a knot, and you uh, jam it in and you just pop the wall open. And uh, as soon as it opens, you hear of, you feel uh, air rushing out. Nice hits, damn it. I would like to cast Mm. And you hear the the spectral laughter of a child. Okay. Are you moving inside? We're moving inside. I I, I put my face uh, in between the uh, uh, or or it's completely open now. Yeah. No. No. The walls. That was gonna be hair spit. I'm just seeing like. Putting Fred's face and then the vampire baby, there's a. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the shiny should have went. I would like to guide, cast guidance on myself. Yeah, okay. And somebody's walking. Is, in. It, is there any light in there? No. Then I will also cast light on my shield. Sure. Just a bright shield. I have dark vision. I have dark vision as well. Yeah, but. <laughs> our woodcutter doesn't. Oh, our woodcutter doesn't. I can't see shit. <laughs> but now I can. Yeah. Nice. Let's go in. What's the worst that could happen? As soon as you move in, you see um, huddled on the ground. Uh, it's not a room. It doesn't have furniture. It's 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 a crawl space. Hmm. And huddled on the ground uh, in a fetus position uh, is a woman. Uh, long dead. And she is holding uh, a small baby, which is also deceased. Brutal. Can we see from the looks of the woman that it isn't Oleander? That it's another unknown... She is wearing uh, clothes that traditionally are worn by maids. Okay. So... so maybe we've now cool. found the wife of uh, Vinkul, maybe. Yes, Vinkul. So there's just two dead bodies in there. For the rest, nothing. Yeah, a maid and a baby. Other than that, it's a, it's a dusty crawl space. <coughs> so the, the maid maybe decided to save the baby when all, everything happened. Yeah. And then the ghostly Orleander, when she's searching for the baby, I wonder if that's after or before. Because if it's before, 
then the maid may have taken the baby while, while Oriander was still alive. But if it's after, then only maybe, ghost maybe Oriander the, knows. the ghost Oriander is actually just like the Finn Cool ghost. Still actually yeah. roaming around. If yeah. someone uh, wants to make an arcana check, you can make one. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. I'm not very good at it, too. I am still guided. Yeah. I will use it. I'm glad I used it. That's still a nine. Nine. No, you, you don't sense anything special about this room. Mm. We can uh, try to put the baby uh, with the mother in the grave. See that. Yeah, we can do that. We take... If that doesn't work, we can try to put her in the grave outside, too. Oh, that's uh, also... Maybe yeah. that's smarter, actually. We dug out one. Yeah. Let's not dug out anymore. <laughs> so where did we turn to... Uh... <laughs> no, the baby's grave. There was a... Oh, the baby's grave. Oh, yeah. yes. And yeah, we can do that. We, we take <laughs> the baby... And put it in the baby's grave. And then we put the cover over. Well, it. maybe if if it, if nothing, wait, a bit reset, didn't it? Yeah. We could, the the Orleander grave is fully closed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So let's just yeah. put the baby in the Orleander gra- in the Orleander grave. We try to put the baby in every grave. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm assuming you started out with placing the baby in, in the its dugout. actual grave. Yeah, in its actual grave. grave, yes. As soon as you place Bertolt in Bertolt's grave, yes. you hear a, a large crack. And it's not the bell ringing, but it is something to do with the bell. And as soon as you hear that crack, you, you, you feel like... Something is lifted from from the entire manor, like a, a heavy burden dissipates. Okay, can we walk to the clock now and see what time it is? You can walk towards the clock. Uh, the, the clock still says one it. o'clock. <laughs> now it's been made as well, <laughs> but it still says yeah. one o'clock. But the bell beneath it that keeps ringing yeah. uh, has been cracked right through the middle. Okay, Bob. That might be it. Um, right. Sure, pop, but one more thing first, if you guys don't mind. What? Burn this place to the ground. Yeah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm going to cast a flaming sphere oh, in the yeah. dining room. I'm yeah. going to walk away and let it, let it rip. Oh, do, do, we, do we want a third uh, javelin? No. No. I'm I don't sure. want a third javelin. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go to a tavern and have some beers. Yeah. And not oh. in six hours come back here to find what to Also, I, I, I take a decent sized rock and I throw it at the uh, clock. You, you, you know what? You hit the clock. And it's smashed? Well, yeah, the, 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 the glass breaks, but it still says one o'clock. I am still satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> Agitated and satisfied. And uh, satisfied. All right, so the house is uh, starting to burn, and it burns very nicely. Anything else? It, uh, I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> when we put the baby in, did uh, Finkul disappear? He, he should be standing there at that time, right? Finkul wasn't there. No? No. Uh, that's it then, I guess. I think we just go walking through the forest and hope we're not going back do, do I hear yeah. birds or any wildlife? Can I check nature or survival? Uh, you can check, yeah. Okay. I'll check survival. Uh, seven. Oh, I don't know. Nine. Yeah, you still don't hear any birds or other animals. Oh. Keep walking. Maybe we'll hear some yeah, later. just keep walking. Yeah. I'm tired yeah. of this shit. I'm not we're going to go to a bar, we're going to drink our faces off, and we're mm. going to murder a dragon. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, you uh, walk into the forest, and after, uh, let's say, an hour, you uh, reach the forest edge, and before you, you see farmlands and a town to your left. Nice. And the sun is almost about to set. And you've escaped the forest. Yes. Nice. That went. And that was the adventure. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Nice. I'm really Thank glad you. we didn't have to fight a baby vampire. 
I'm really glad I didn't throw another table <laughs> at <all that. laughs> I thought it was just like, throw it in, <clears throat> run away. And I was like, the damage did it first. And then the damage, then, it was like, it hit you. It did three damage. Two of those guys hit you. It did 31 damage. And I was like, <laughs> wait, what? Wait, what? wait, what just happened? <laughs> I rolled max. <laughs> You're lucky you know. Yeah, well, and the first time you rolled really low, that was the, yeah. the, the what really got me. It was like the two extremes. Yeah, you and you, you like, thought, oh, this is going to be easy. But no. Yeah, I thought, <laughs> I don't give a shit. They're not yeah. going to kill me. And then, um, well. Well, well, they didn't. <laughs> yeah. I'll uh, say uh, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, and, uh, you know, Picnic. We're Picnic, so Picnic. Picnic, Picnic. Sponsor yeah. us. Actually, time for Picnic. Have some beer. Yeah, Have safety beer. first. Uh, also, on time second, Red Shadow Legends. <laughs> <laughs> D and D Beyond. No? Anything else? No. 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 We don't. We don't. We don't drink at all. No. Uh, this pic is water. Picnic is angry. I didn't do my check here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but you were busy yeah, promoting, promoting picnic. picnic. Yeah. 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 I'll put this on YouTube. Be fine. <laughs> so uh, uh, bye bye everyone. Just wave the camera. Bye bye.